Boop that like button if you love cookies. In this video. Hey Molly, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? Wow. Rookie's parents are really rich. Hey Molly, come on in. Welcome to our new house. Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care you're on my snap. No! Uh, well, tell them the truth then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. And we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and then... And, and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no, I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay, <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy, jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie. Hey Brookie, come on in. Hey Molly, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I... I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh-oh! Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as, it, as you think, but I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're going to move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not like moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live like right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then. Yeah, I know. But I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie, I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? Molly, I'm just teasing. But hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave! No! I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Molly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because I can't live without you. Yes, I, I can. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah. I, I, I'll get, like, super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Molly, you're right. You are turning green. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move. Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now, please, turn back to your normal color. Okay, Brookie. But, but don't leave me for long. Wow. Brookie's parents are really rich. Hey, Molly, come on in. Welcome to our new house. Holy macaroni and cheese. What kind of job did your parents get? A um, really good one. This town is so cool. Look, we even have our own movie theater. <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole. Molly, so tell me the truth. 
Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well, what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie. Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's, it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? <laughs> so which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly, that hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you'd turn green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Well, do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. I can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my pirouettes. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care you're on my snap. No! Well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly. Tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine! <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Molly, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. <laughs> Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Mm, that is good ice cream. <laughs> Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. That smell. <gasps> Ew, Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. 
I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Boogie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my eye to me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I it. I saw. I. I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by this. I saw this um thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. It seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be a friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be privileged. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Body, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give her something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here! Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hands before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are you serious? Okay, dear, lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well, this is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed. When I'm trying to be a doctor! Ow! Did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie of the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. <laughs> How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow! Okay, I'm better. Why you keep hitting me? Because you called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh. I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no. But I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have...
wash your hands before you smack me in the head with that hammer. Molly, are you okay? Yeah, feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow. I wonder, holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, your line got a little bit too much for her. Oh no! Oh, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's from my bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly! What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Brookie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay, here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied. But it was because I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you. Please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you writing to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been my BFF since then. How will I ever... A few minutes later. ...live without you? Molly, just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm sorry. Little like cat emoji, um, or dog maybe. Look at this grumpy cat. Like, wait, I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always gotta pay for it? Oh my god, I think she sent me a heart. Did I send? Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly, she sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Hello, Molly. She may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? I don't, Molly, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry, where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had lyotomy and, 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 uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I, no. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean, you are, well, an ugly person. Wait, what? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! <laughs>
Why, Molly? It doesn't mean anything if you're shorter than Daisy. It means I'm not growing and I'm going to look like a little kid and Daisy's going to look all grown up. Well, I am more mature than you. Let's just be real about things. Really, really don't want to be short. Well, I'm sure there'll be lots of other kids in your class that are the same height as you, Molly. Oh, girls, there's the school bus. Come on, Molly. Or should I say shorty? Don't tease your sister, Daisy. Say you're sorry. Sorry. Uh -huh, sure you are, I bet. Oh, man. Oh, my sister gets so tall and I'm so short. Oh, great. The school bus dropped us off late. Now we're going to be late for class. I'm just annoyed that I'm shorter than you still. Molly, get over it. Psst, Molly, you sit next to me. Whoa, you look super grumpy. What's going on, Molly? Ugh, I just had a really bad morning. Hopefully it gets better. Me too, Molly. I really hope so. Nice of you to join us, Molly and Daisy. It wasn't our fault. It was the bus driver. It's okay. It's okay. All right, class, today we are doing comparisons. Basically, we're going to be comparing two objects to see their differences and also how they're alike. So let's start by comparing ourselves. First, I would like Molly and Brookie to come up to the board, please. No, I'm good just sitting here. How about you compare somebody else? I'm just having a really bad morning. No, Molly, I called on you. Come up to the front, please. Ugh. So class, let's start saying some things that are the same about Brookie and Molly. They both, um, um, uh, what do they like? Um, they both like pizza. Well, that is really true, Molly. We both like pizza. Yeah, I love pizza. Thinking about pizza brings a smile to my face. Mmm, pizza. Sarah? What would you like to say? Well, they're both unpopular losers. Sarah, that's rude. Well, I can't help but tell you the truth. Well, I see Sarah's up to her usual antics. Yeah, don't remind me that she's in this class with us, Brookie. Okay, let's start talking about some differences. Oh, me, me, me. Yes, Charlotte. Um, Brookie has brown hair and Molly has blonde hair. Very good. How about some other comparisons? Yes, Luke? Well, Brookie's like way taller than Molly. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Molly. I had a growth spurt last night. W wait, what? You are like two inches taller than me now. Is everyone in my grade taller than me? Aww. Molly, what's the problem? Are you okay? I'm not okay. You're not allowed to be taller than me. You're my best friend. You're supposed to be on my side. Wait, what? I can't help if I'm taller, Molly. I mean, what do you want me to do about it? D I don't know. Take some shrinking potion. Molly, this isn't magic class. There is no shrinking potion that's been made here. Well, we better figure it out because I don't want to be the shortest one ever. <laughs> Molly, do you need a moment? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yes! How on earth did I become the shortest one in my class? I was always the tallest one and now I'm... I'm, I'm so short. I don't want to be the smallest. I'm going to look like a baby. And everyone else is going to look tall, 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 and all grown up. Uh, maybe if I Google it. Yeah, let me just get my backpack. I'll get my phone out. And I'll just, I'll just Google it. How to grow. Ugh, nothing. I don't even have a signal. Come on. Stupid phone at work. Wait a minute. I remember when I was a kid reading this book about this fish who grew. What was that called? Oh, let me get on Amazon. Found it! Fish out of water. Yeah. <laughs> I totally remember reading this book when I was a little kid. And I remember that when the boy fed the fish lots and lots of food, he grew and grew and grew and grew! This is the perfect solution. <laughs> I just eat, need to eat and eat and eat and eat, and I'll grow and grow and grow and grow! Molly, are you okay? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be? Because you had an emotional meltdown in class. That's why. Did you feel better after you cried it out? No, I felt better after I figured it out. You're not going to be taller than me for long. What? Well, why not? You're shorter than I am now. But not for long. <laughs> A few hours later. Mmm. These waffles are delicious. Molly, we just ate dinner. Why are you eating more food? Um... No reason, Mom. I'm just super hungry today. Wow, maybe you're having a growth spurt too, Molly. Ha <laughs> Yeah, I most definitely will. Well, time to do your homework and then get ready for bed. 
As soon as I'm done eating everything in the refrigerator. Ooh, look at this pizza. That looks delicious too. <laughs> Must grow bigger. <laughs> Must get huge. <laughs> huh, I'm awake. I'm awake. Molly, why you got an alarm clock going off at midnight? Because, Daisy, it's snack time. What? Snack time? It, it's, it's the middle of the night. I know, but I need to go have a snack. I'm hungry. Molly, what has gotten into you? Don't you worry about a thing. Just go back to sleep already. Holy macaroni and cheese, it's dark down here. Oh, well, I can light my way by the light of the fridge. <laughs> Ooh, ice cream. This is going to make me grow so fast. Um, did anyone else just see that creepiness behind me? Okay, taking these snacks upstairs. Don't want to be down here. Oh, better close the fridge before Mama gets mad. Uh, I swear I saw a ghost down here. That was creepy. What's that crunching sound? Molly, what are you doing? You're sitting here eating pizza and snacks at 1 a.m.? Sorry, I would have eaten it downstairs, but there's a ghost. What? What are you even talking about? Go to sleep. Okay, I just have a few more bites of this pizza, and then I'll go right back to sleep. <laughs> Ugh, my stomach is so full. Ugh. But this is going to work. It has to. <coughs> wow, I hope she actually goes to sleep now. I need my beauty rest. <coughs> Must get taller. Must get bigger. <coughs> Molly, please stop eating. You're going to destroy all of Molly, don't even think about eating that car. Don't you do it. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Molly, you just ate the neighbor's car. What are you doing? Mmm, these trees are good too. Can't stop eating. Molly, you better stop eating. You're going to destroy our home. Everything we've ever known. Oh, this tree's too big for me. But don't worry, I'll get bigger. And I'll eat everything. <laughs> Molly, seriously, it's not that big a deal that you're shorter than everybody else. Is she going to seriously eat that fire hydrant? Molly, don't you dare! Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Oh my god, she created a water leak. Watch out! It's Molly Zilla! And I'm going to destroy Brookhaven and Bloxburg and Twilight Daycare! Ha 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 ha! I will eat everything and anything in my path. <laughs> I will eat everything. <laughs> oh, man. That police car gave me a tummy ache. Ugh. Molly? Molly, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Huh, what? What? What's going on? Huh? I must be huge. What? What's happening? Molly, you only seem huge because you're standing on top of your bunk bed. What? Was that all a dream? Molly, what's going on with you, honey? Well, I'm feeling really self-conscious because it feels like everybody at school has had a growth spurt, and I haven't. Really? Everyone? Are you sure it was everyone? Well, it's Daisy, and when I went up to the board with Brookie, she's way taller than me now, and I don't understand why everyone's having a growth spurt, and I'm not. Oh, Molly. Ah, where'd you get the idea to eat all this food from? From that book you used to read me, A Fish Out of Water? Oh, with Otto? Ugh. Molly, I wouldn't attempt that in real life. It doesn't mean you're going to grow super fast if you eat all that food, but it does mean you'll get a stomach ache and maybe some nightmares. Do you remember what happened at the end of the book? No, Mom, what? Otto grew until every container couldn't hold him. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. He grew so big that he had to go into the bathtub. And when he crashed down into the basement from the bathtub, then they had to take him to the pool, but he kept right on growing. Um, basically, that's exactly what happened in my nightmare. <laughs> yeah, you forgot the end of the story, Molly. <sighs> and basically, the shop owner had to come and do some magic to make Otto small again. Yeah, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to eat all that food. I don't want to destroy Brookhaven in a giant Molly apocalypse. What? Yeah, you're right, Mom. Whoa, Molly. You're a lot taller. What? Oh, no, I'm Molly Zilla. No, Molly, you're still not as tall as me. Oh, yeah, you freaked me out there for a minute, Mom. Oh, what's all this commotion about? Oh, oh. oh, nothing, Daisy. Your sister was having a nightmare, but she's okay now. What the? 
Molly, you're taller than me. I know, I'm Mollyzilla. Wait, what? No, Molly, all that happened was is you grew. Well, I guess eating all that pizza did serve a purpose. Molly, I don't think it was the pizza. Your body's just programmed to grow at certain times and everyone's timing is different. And some people will just be shorter than others and it's okay. I cannot believe I'm shorter than you. I'm gonna look like a little kid. <laughs> well, I guess I'm the more grown up looking one again. Oh man. just asked me for a snack five seconds ago, but I'm still hungry. Can I have some treats? Maybe some chocolate, a uh, candy bar, something like that. No, your mom said no garbage food while I was on duty. Sorry. But, but Hannah, you have to let me eat some chocolate. Preferably, I would like to have a Hershey's bar or uh, maybe like something with peanut butter in the center. What are those called again? Reese cups. Yeah, Reese cups, can I have one of those? <laughs> You're too funny, Molly, but no. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll have to entertain myself a different way. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, are you seriously jumping on the couch? If I turn around and still see you jumping on the couch, you're going to be in so much trouble. I'm still jumping. You should probably give me some chocolate. Molly. Okay, you have five seconds to get down, Molly. One, two, three. Thank you, Molly. Four, five. We were just counting my jumps. Molly, seriously. Would you please do your chores? Please, Molly, do your chores. Okay, jeepers, Hannah, you've gotten kind of bossy. Well, uh, I'm not bossy, I'm a good babysitter. You're just driving me crazy. Okay, I'll do my chores. Mom always keeps some extra things in here, and I'm going to eat them. Da, 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 da. What, your mom doesn't keep cookies in the safe? Must be you don't like to eat cookies as much as I do. <laughs> Oh, a good cookie. Hmm. No wonder mom was hiding them from me. Mommy, are you eating sweets? I told you not to eat sweets. Yeah, and now I have way too much energy. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're going to bounce on the couch again. And you're eating a cookie. You're getting crumbs everywhere. Your mom's going to be so mad at me. Molly, that's it. I quit. Wait, Hannah. Hey, Hannah? Uh-oh. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. The babysitter, that is, not the cookie. I can't believe I'm looking for a new babysitter again. Mommy keeps making all of the babysitters quit, and I need to be able to get to my job every day. Ugh, what am I going to do? I know, I'll Google it. Babysitter that can handle bratty, misbehaving children. <gasps> well, mostly just Molly, but anyway. Oh. Your kid will behave with my babysitting? Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess I'll send her a message. Hi, I'm looking for a babysitter for my three kids. One is trouble. Don't worry, she'll behave with me. Well, you're hired. Molly, Daisy, time to wake up. Ugh. Ugh. Nah, Hannah usually lets us sleep in, Mom. Well, Hannah's not your babysitter today, Molly. Okay, baby Kira, I know you're hungry. Molly, get out of bed, seriously. What, why, what, what's going on? Where's Hannah? She quit, remember? Ow. Ah. Oh yeah, well I guess you get to stay home with us then, Mom. No, Molly, I have to work, and you have to be with a new babysitter. Now get out of bed so you can meet her. What, a new babysitter? <laughs> I'll have her quitting in less than 10 hours. <laughs> now girls, specifically Molly, I want you to be on your best behavior. This babysitter was the last resort and very expensive. So gluey, Mom, I'll behave as usual. Um, no promises. Uh -oh. Molly, who 
Okay, fine. I'll try my best. I could jump on couch like Molly. No, baby Kira. Do not act like Molly. Molly's very naughty. I don't want to be like Molly. I love her. Baby Kira, try to be like Daisy, please. Fine. Oh, she just texted me. Her name's Brooke, by the way. Brooke? Like Brookie? Like my best friend? Uh-huh, sure. She's probably awesome like Brookie then. Everyone named Brooke, Brookie, whatever. They're all awesome. Ooh, pancakes. Mama, you try to make Molly be nice so she behaves. Uh, yes, absolutely, Daisy. Mmm, those are good, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Baby Kira, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my phone. I think Mom, but I want phone because I five. No, no screen time this morning. Eat your baby food. I want you have a baby food. Oh, so I'm going to be the naughty one with the babysitter, huh? Not. One hour later. Mommy, the new babysitter's here. Try to behave yourself. As I said, no promises. Good morning. I'm Brooke. No television. But I'm a bunch of gymnastics. On my watch, there's no television and there's no fun. Wait, what? Oh, great. Mom, I owe the prison guard. Especially because of you, Molly. What? It's not my fault. I can't go by and get that from your fault, Molly. <gasps> I'm not a prison guard. I'm last chance babysitter. Let me tell you, I don't quit. You will behave. Now let's see. It's already pretty late. Time for those chores. Um, we don't really do chores on this day. Well, now you do chores every day I'm here. Starting with my laundry. Hop two. Your laundry. But, 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 but. Wow, this is a lot of laundry. Why are you bringing it here? You could have done it at home. I don't think so. Now, we will be going out for exercise in approximately 30 minutes. Uh-oh. So hurry up with that laundry. Oh, boy. Should have been nicer to Hannah, I guess. This is terrible. Maddie, don't complain. This lady seems crazy. Who knows what she'll do? Well, hopefully she she lets us go outside. Yeah, well, she already said we have to go out and exercise. Your favorite. Um, I don't exercise unless you count eating cookies. That's a lot of exercise for my mouth. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, boy. I, 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 looking up reviews on this babysitter. Everyone doesn't even know who she is. Where'd mom even find this lady? Hop, hop, hop to their little bunnies. Time to go outside and get some exercise. Um, I don't exercise. Wait, where's my stroller? Your stroller? You're not a baby. Well, I could probably squeeze in there with baby here. Wait, come back here. Uh, no. You are going to get some exercise. No lazy kids on my watch. Whoa. I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you're kind of grumpy there, Brooke. I don't think you should be talking to me that way. Would you like a timeout for the rest of the day? Does the timeout include cookies, sitting down and watching TV? No, it includes an underground prison that I've made in your basement. Wait, what? When did you have time to do that? Probably while we were doing our laundry. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Those are crazy. But anyway, could you help me? Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, nice Louis Vuitton bag. Molly, quit getting distracted. Um, wait, come back. My babysitter, she's evil. I need help. Your babysitter seems super nice, kid. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, Molly, there you are. Are you ready to have a fun day at the park? Brooke, you're wearing a smile? Who are you even? You were just a grumpy, miserable, mean babysitter. What? I have no idea what she's talking about. Don't listen to her. Um, do you, do you, seriously, listen to her. She's, she's just acting right now. Molly, I'm the nicest babysitter ever. What are you talking about? Now, come on. Okay, maybe I just misjudged her. Maybe she's not as evil as I thought. I just need to give her a chance. Glad you could join us, little brat. What? You were just so nice in front of that other lady. Yeah, but at last chance babysitting, I don't want to be nice. I want you to behave. Whoa! 
Um, so you are actually me? Ugh, no. I'm honest. You're a brat. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm gonna go jump on the trampoline. Not today, Molly. Get down. No fun for you, since you can't really behave yourself, ever. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I'll just go stand over here then. Guys, I need to come up with a plan, because this babysitter is super mean and grumpy. I'm gonna expose her on Snapchat. Then, everyone in, in Roblox, they'll have to believe me. Okay, it's Molly here, guys, and I just wanna make this little video because my mom hired this babysitter and she's so mean. So I'm about to show you guys so everybody will know. Did I say you could have any fun? I don't think so. I wanna have fun cause I'm at the park. I don't think so, kid. No fun. See, she just made my little sister cry. Time to send this to everybody in Roblox. Hmm, what's this? I got a new snap. Wait, what? Is that babysitter being mean to you, honey? Yeah, and, and, and we need to call the cops. I think we just need to call your mom. Holy macaroni, there's an evil mean babysitter in here. <gasps> Cute guy, that's right. Um, I, I don't know what to do. We're gonna call your mom, that's what. Oh, Molly, everybody in all of Wubai's got your snap. Including the babysitter. Maybe we should take baby Kira and run. What? You <laughs> did the snap? That's it. You are gonna have a timeout forever. I don't think so, lady. Molly, run! Oh my God, this lady's crazy. Bacon hair, we need a ride. Get in, Molly. What's going on? Do you have room for my little sister? Do you have a car seat? Uh, put this right here. We're, we're, we're kind of good. You need to take us to the hospital. Why? Did someone lose an arm or something? No. Ew. Gross. Um, no. We this we have this really evil babysitter. And can you just drive the car while you sit here? Sorry. I didn't really get a really big uh, brain when I decided to be this bacon hair dude. Follow me, dude! Okay, I'm not very good at driving. Hey, man, can I have a ride? No, sorry, I gotta take these kids to the hospital. Something about losing an arm. Dude, bacon hair, we didn't lose an arm. Oh my god, this guy can't drive. Park it so I can drive it! Molly, we'd be faster off just running! Yeah, she's got a point. Let's go. <laughs> ah, and then I was gonna run over by the free candy guy. Okay, um, when I see my mom, I am going to scream that she hired this babysitter. DZ, the hospital is right here. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> My brain was like in scared mode. Daisy, I'm confused. I don't know which one to go to. Imaging or emergency? I mean, I took an image with the Snapchat, but this is an emergency. Are you serious right now, Molly? Yeah, which one is it? Molly, imaging is for like an MRI or, or like x-ray. We have to go to an emergency. That's where mom works. Plus, this is an emergency, right? Ay, 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 Molly. I can't even with you. Mom! 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 Molly, I don't think you're supposed to run through the hospital like that. Oh, Molly! What's going on? Why are you here? Are you okay? Where's where's my girls? Oh, okay. What's going on, girls? Mom, the babysitter's evil! What? No, you just don't like her because she makes you do your chores. Our chores? She made us do her laundry. Then she calls me a brat and she's really mean to me. What? What are you talking about? Mom, pull out your phone. Um, I sent you a chat, but you were a Snapchat, but you were just busy like with patients or something. Okay, well, let me look at my phone and see what you're talking about. <coughs> Wait, what? She was mean to my baby? <coughs> All three of them? That's it. She's fired and getting one star on Google. Yeah, um, last chance babysitting is not a very good business. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. But Molly, you were so naughty. I couldn't get any babysitter to not quit. Don't worry, Mom. I've learned my lesson. I've really learned it. I'm only going to eat one cookie and bounce on the couch once a day instead of more like a hundred. Molly. Molly. Okay, how about just one cookie and no bouncing on the couch? Molly. Mom, I can't live without my cookies. <laughs> Ma, 
right time, you kind of folks. Oh, it's only 12.30 at night? Why do I have to go to the bathroom right now? That's so weird. Oh, no. I hope I'm not going to get a stomachache. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh finally. Made it to the party. Oh, it just totally yeah. feel good. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, it was probably nothing. I'll just go back to bed and get a good night's sleep. Five minutes later. Oh no! Not again! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely sick. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that Daisy's alarm? It's already gone off like three times. Why doesn't she turn that off? That's so annoying. Oh, she's probably in the shower and forgot about it. I just have to go turn it off, I guess, unless I want to hear that all the while I'm sleeping in. Daisy, what are you doing? Why are you still in bed? Uh-oh! Oh, Molly, I was up all night long, puffing and running into the bathroom and... Oh, God, Daisy, are you sick? I think so, Molly. Does my face look sick? Um, well, you have a green face and pink spots all over. Yes, you're sick! <coughs> Don't give it to me. Ugh, gross. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Molly. You're so kind. Well, ew, gross. And how come it smells like stinky doo-doo in here? <coughs> because, Molly, I told you it was up all night long sick. Uh-oh. gross. Well, wait a minute. Does this mean you don't have to go to school today? I can't go to school. How sad. Well, why should I have to go to school and you don't? Because, Molly, look at me. I'm green with pink spots. I'm really sick. Now get out of my room. I don't feel good. Fine. I can't believe my sister gets to stay home and I have to go to school. How is that fair? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I have the perfect idea. Oh, isn't she so cute when she's asleep in her crib? Look at her little passy. It's so adorable. Baby Kira, come on, sweetheart. It's time to wake up. Come on, I made breakfast. Wake up, sweetie. Which reminds me, Molly and Daisy aren't out of bed yet. Which I would expect from Molly, but Daisy? Hmm, she must have overslept. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. Daisy? What's going on, honey? You're not out of bed yet. He looks sick. He definitely sick, mama. I can't sick, baby Kira. I, I don't feel so good, Mom. Oh, you look green. And are those spots all over your face? Oh, my goodness, honey. I didn't get out of the eyes on before Daisy feel bad. Oh, baby Kira, I don't think you should be around your sister right now. She might be contagious. Ow. I can't just tell Mama, though. Oh, she just wants to help, honey. So, what are your symptoms? Well, I was up all night. Puking and running to the bathroom. I feel super cold, but my skin feels hot, and I feel nauseous still. Oh my, that definitely sounds like some sort of flu. You need to stay home from school. I'll call the school. Thanks, Mom. Aww. I really don't want to miss school today. I know. Well, I got the mom, but I take your temperature. Whoa, that thermometer looks weird. Oh, I brought it home from the hospital. It's a new type of thermometer. It works really well. It's very accurate. Okay, hold still. Baby Kira's going to take your temperature. I just get blood at this. Whoa, your temperature's 103.2. Wow, you're definitely going to need to take some medicine to bring that down. After I wake up, Molly, I'll bring you some medicine. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thanks, bub. Uh-oh. Here comes Mom. I have to get back in bed. Oh, oh, I'm so sick. <sighs> Molly, are you okay? No, I'm so sick. Oh, really? Well, what are your symptoms? Um, 
I farted and it smelled like a taco. What? I've got an upset stomach is what I'm trying to say. Yes, it's terrible. I can't go to school. Absolutely not. I have to stay here and play Roblox all day. Really? Are you faking being sick because your sister is sick? What? No, I didn't even know she was sick. Yes, you did, Molly. You came in here. Molly, do you want to get grounded? No. Are you really sick? Um, the thought of going to school and having to face my teacher and not having done my homework makes me kind of sick. Uh oh. Molly, get out of bed. Go down and eat breakfast. I have to bring Daisy some medicine. Ugh. Why don't you believe me, Mom? Because, Molly, I think you're just sick because you have to go to school. Not because you're actually sick. Now go get ready. Fine. Ow. I'm coming with the medicine, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. She always gets away with everything. I think about the guy who can get by. I nurse baby Kira. Oh, <laughs> you're nurse baby Kira. Aren't you adorable? Okay. Mom made pancakes, so I guess this makes this day... A little bit better, but, you know, not totally. Still have to go to school. My sister gets to stay home. Mm. Oh, look at that extra syrup. Delicious. So delicious. I can't stop eating it, for real. Mm. I want some more. It's so delicious. I really want some more. <laughs> oh, my God. I love when you're playing Roblox. You try to place something on the table, and, like, it ends up some somewhere weird. <laughs> Look at my plate of pancakes. It's literally like balancing on the edge of that chair. <laughs> Sometimes Roblox glitches are so ridiculous. Ugh, why do I eat so many pancakes? My stomach kind of hurts. <gasps> I hope I didn't catch it. Molly, you didn't catch anything. You just ate too many pancakes. Yeah, but since when have I not been able to eat a ton of pancakes? Like never. I always eat every single pancake in the entire world. Daisy, you're so lucky you get to stay home. I don't think she's very lucky, Molly. Look at her. She looks terrible. I could have found you for you feel bad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, Daisy. Why am I drinking that from Baby Kira's sippy cup, Mom? Um, well, <laughs> I haven't run the dishwasher yet. It's all I had. Besides, remember when you were little? It was the only way you take medicine is in your bottle or your sippy cup. Mom, seriously? Well, it's all I have clean, so just, just drink it, okay? Uh, I I just got to make sure Molly's getting ready to get on the bus. I'll be right back to check on you. Don't worry, Mama. I know it's baby Kira. I take good care of Daisy. Ugh, those pancakes were like too much. Seriously. Oh, I feel like, ugh. Uh. Well, at least I'm ready for school. I guess that's something. I'm going to snap my adorable outfit right now because I do look super cute. Look at me. I have on my unicorn sweatshirt. So cute. It has all the colors of the rainbow on it. Just a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna actually give myself this cute. I think I'm going to give myself that. <laughs> That's perfect to go with my unicorn. Yes. Sending it to everyone I know. Send to everyone. <laughs> Hello, bouncy bird. We meet again. Ah! Oh, no! Ooh. Why can I never, ever win at this game? I can never win. I shall beat you, bouncy bird. If it's the last thing I do. Whoa. You can't just, Ooh. like, oh, whoa, life pay? No, I don't, I don't have any money. I just have to start over from the beginning. Oh! <laughs> Molly, are you getting ready for school? Uh-huh, yep, sure I am. Um, Molly, are you dressed? Yep, dressed. Oh, this game. Are you playing games on your phone? Um, caught you. Come on, the bus is going to be here any minute. Okay, fine. Don't, don't get back in bed. Sorry, that I didn't mean to. That was a Roblox thing. I swear it. <laughs> Does anyone else out there um get on the bus before the sun even comes up. Like, how ridiculous is this? We are not supposed to be waking up this early in the morning. Seriously. I I, I think that we should change this about it. I'm like, no more getting on the school bus when it's dark. That's too early. It's way too early. I guess um the sun just comes up as I'm getting on the bus because I'm only the second person that gets picked up in the entire school. Hey, good morning, Molly. 
wait, where's Daisy? Okay, everybody, um, we're gonna go pick up the other students, so make sure you stay in your seats. Yeah, I know, Bacon Hair, we hear ya. Oh, if, if, if I could only stop being a noob, I could get a better job than school bus driver, and I could actually, you know, buy some shoes! I mean, why am I such a Bacon Hair? Hey, being a school bus driver is very important work. Yeah, and, until you get homework crumpled up and thrown at your Bacon Hair. Okay, maybe the students are a little cray-cray with you, Bacon, but, you know, overall, this has got to be a great job, right? I don't know, remember when we all got the stomach bug and we were throwing up all over the bus and then someone threw up in Bacon's hair? Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, that was pretty terrible. I think I have a Snapchat of that. Let me look at my phone and see. Oh, no, I think it got erased. That would have been amazing if I still had that. Oh, yeah, it's a memory I want to remember forever, not... Anyway, Molly, where's Daisy? Did she get a ride from your mom or something? No, she's sick with none other than the flu. What? Is she going to be okay? I'm sure she is. I just think it's really unfair that she gets to stay home while I'm at school. Well, in her defense, Molly, do you really want to be home puking and everything? If it meant I could miss doing homework, yes! Okay, class, I need everyone to um, hand in your homework last night. Did anybody have any questions about it? Homework? Uh, homework? What homework? Molly, you have homework every single night except for the weekend. You knew you had homework. Uh, Molly, did you not do your homework again? <gasps> um, uh... Molly, you know, I'm a really cool teacher and all, but I just have to tell you that, well... I'm giving you detention. Detention? Mr. Snickerbucker, you can't do this! I, I've never had detention in my life. I, I am the most best student in the whole world! This is shocking to me. <laughs> Molly without detention is like me without blue hair. Pfft, you're crazy. Billy, I don't know what you're talking about. Your hair isn't blue. Molly, sit down. But I don't want detention, please! Coming to school today was enough work. Well, you also need to do your homework, and you know this, Molly. Now sit down and take your detention, because it's what you're getting. Ow! Detention? Ugh! You know, you could actually do your homework, and then you wouldn't get in trouble. Well, how does that help me now? I've already got the detention. Ooh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Uh, Mr. Schoenbacher, can I go to the bathroom? No, Molly, you need to do your work. I don't really have to go. Please, 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 please. Okay, but hurry back. Okay, I will. <coughs> oh, my God, my stomach really hurts. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Ah, why was the door open? Oh, okay, I just had to pull the handle. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, wait, I didn't even close the door. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, I ate so many pancakes. I always think I can eat more pancakes than I actually can. Too many! Okay, okay, I think I'm okay now. <sighs> Don't go in that bathroom, though. Woo-wee! It's closed for the rest of the day. Thank you for joining us again, Molly. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't know it was such an amazing thing to have me in your class. It's not. Okay, everybody else has their books out, Molly, except for you. That's because my stomach's kind of really upset. Uh-huh, sure. Don't try to get out of detention. I'm not trying to get out of detention. Please. My tummy really hurts. I'm like, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. My stomach is just really hurting me. Oh, no, Molly. You don't think you caught Daisy's flu, do you? <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Okay, Molly. I want you to go up to the board and read what's on it for me, please. Okay. If you really want me to. Oh. oh, my uh -oh. stomach! Oh. oh, Molly, why did you go to the bathroom? Because I told you I needed to go and you wouldn't let me. Oh, yuck. Sorry. <laughs> what is a continent? A continent is a very large landmass. Woohoo! Save by the bell. Everyone is dismissed to lunch. Ugh, lunch? That doesn't sound very good. Hey, kids. What's up? Hey, Large Marge. Whoa, Molly, look. She has your favorites out today. Pizza, cheeseburgers, everything you love. French fries. Ugh, I don't want any of it. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding me right now, Molly? 
You love this stuff. I'm Snapchatting it because this is like the most delicious like lunch we've had in all like the school year pretty much. I'm choosing a cheeseburger. I don't want a Snapchat lunch. Molly, are you okay? Maybe you did actually get sick. Come on, try something. Okay. Ugh. Nah, I'm just gonna put my tray back. Oh, did you have the hiccups, Molly? <gasps> yeah. And, and, uh-oh. I gotta go to the bathroom again! Molly, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I think Molly might be sick. Oh, why are the bathrooms so far away? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I have to clean the bathrooms. Oh no! Huh. Why does a janitor have to come in right when I'm in the bathroom? Uh, somebody's in here! Okay, well the bathroom's gonna be closed in two minutes because I have to actually clean it. Ooh. No, it can't be closed! Molly, are you in there? Prookie! Oh no! Molly, are you okay? Oh no! There's a bunch of pink on your face! Why does it look like a rainbow? Oh, I ate some Skittles on the school bus. Whoopsie. Ugh, Molly, gross. Okay, girls, I need you to get out of here because, ew, it really needs to get cleaned. Um, sorry, but, um, I think I might have the stomach bug and... Oh, great. Now I'm gonna catch uh -oh. the stomach bug. Wait a minute. Aren't you the school bus driver? Yeah, but I wanted to be able to get a pair of shoes, so bacon hair has to have two jobs, okay? And now also the third job is gonna be uh, canceled because I'm gonna catch the stomach bug from you. Wow, Bacon, you really do have a rough life. Only, I think you need to go to the school nurse. Stat! Ugh. Oh, can't make it! Blech. Yeah, Molly, I'm walking you to the school nurse right now. Come on. Ugh. Thanks for being such a good friend, Brookie. Molly, I really hope you feel better. Also, don't give me the flu. I'm trying not to, Brookie. I'm trying not to. Well, hopefully the nurse will just call your mom and you can go home. Uh, and also, you still look like you're puking. Uh, uh. Oh, hello there. Um, checking into the nurse's office? Yeah. Oh, you look terrible. Ew. Why do you have rainbow puke? I ate Skittles on the school bus on the way to school. Oh, my. Okay, let's take your temperature. Go ahead, lay on the nurse's cot. The magic nurse's cot. Everybody knows. This will make you feel better. If anything will make you feel better... Magic nurse cut will. That's right. Sometimes all you need to do is just lay down for a few minutes and then you'll feel better. I have to Snapchat this. This is kind of crazy. You need to lay down. I know, but first I want to show everybody that I was throwing up. Look, I'm going to be like a dog throwing up. <laughs> yeah. Don't I look adorable? Not. Um, this is more like it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Like. <laughs> OMG. Right, I'm sending it to everybody I know. I put on a face mask, Molly, obviously, because you're sick. Could you lay down, please? I'm, I'm trying to lay down, but this game won't let me, and I'm really sick, and I need to lay down. Come on, Roblox, what's wrong with you? Okay, there we go. Thank you for laying down. Okay, just hold still. I'm going to take your temperature. Oh, wow. Over 100. And I suspect it's going to keep climbing since you are throwing up. Yeah, I don't feel so good. I'm going to call your mom. Can I go home? Yes, she'll have to come pick you up. It's ringing, Molly. Oh, thank goodness. I can't wait to go home. Hello? Oh, hi. Is this Laura Acker? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Don't tell me Molly got suspended. What? <gasps> no. She's in the nurse's office. She's not feeling well. Ugh. She's always trying to get away with that. She's just faking it. No, Mrs. Acker. I actually took her temperature and she's throwing up. She's actually really sick. Wait, what? Okay, tell Molly I'll be there in 15 minutes to pick her up. All right, I will. Thank you. Well, your mom thought you were faking it. Do you often pretend that you're sick? Only when I don't want to go to school, do my homework, or be responsible for anything. Okay, so a lot. You might want to stop doing that. She didn't quite believe that you were sick. So wait, she's not coming to get me? I'm stuck on the nurse's magic cot when I want to go home and get in my pajamas and eat popsicles. No, honey, she's coming to pick you up. You just rest, and when she gets here, she can come get you. Thank you. Oh, I feel so sick, Mom. <gasps> Daisy, I'm so sorry, but I have...
have to run over to the school. What? No, you can't leave me. I need more popsicles. And I need you to tell me, oh, Theo, Theo, you okay? Oh, honey, as much as I'd love to stay here and baby you while you're sick, I have to run over to this, pick up this, over to the school and pick up your sister because she's also sick. She's faking it. She's not even sick. Actually, the school nurse called and she caught your stomach bug too or whatever this is. I don't have it. Oh, that's right. And hopefully you don't get it, baby Kira. It's terrible. You don't want it. I feel bad for Molly. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going to run over there with baby Kira. I'll be back in like 15 minutes, okay? Okay, Mama, I'll text you if I need anything. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. Oh, no, Molly's got the bug too. Mama, I buy a Coco Mountain on your phone. Of course, you can watch it on my phone, honey. Oh, but I think you should stay away from Molly and Daisy. I love them. I why stay away from them. I know, honey, but the truth of the matter is they both are sick and I don't want you to catch it. Mama, I make a Snapchat. Oh, that's so cute, honey. But listen to what I'm saying. No catching what your sisters have. I love Mama, I love. Where's my mom? I need to go home. Molly? Oh my goodness, Molly, you look so sick. Get in, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not faking it this time. But maybe you should stop faking things so much in the future so you're believed. Yeah, you're probably right, but ugh. My stomach is so upset. I threw up at school and it was like rainbows from the schools I ate on the school bus. Ew. And aww. And also, ew. Okay, mom's gonna run in and just get some chicken noodle soup and some other supplies, okay? Hang tight. Okay, mom. Ugh. Ugh. Uh-oh. you tucked into bed. I thought it was funny. Da, 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 da. Yeah, real funny. Uh-oh, I might have to have you pull over, Mom. Seriously, we're almost home. I know, but I'm gonna throw up again, I think. Oh, no, Molly. All right, I'll take a shortcut. Okay, we're here. I gotta run to the bathroom. Oh, this has been the worst stomach bug of my entire life. Oh, oh, wait, where's the bathroom? I can't even remember. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. What? What happened to the toilet? Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. Someone took the toilet out of our bathroom. Sorry, Molly, it wasn't working. So the repairman came today to take it back to his shop and fix it. Oh, who does that? Who steals a toilet? That's like something the Grinch would do. What am I gonna do without a toilet? Use a different bathroom. Uh. I Snapchat that, Molly. What? What? Yeah, you were talking about how there was no toilet. It was funny. Ah, give me that phone. I'm going to smash it. Get away. That's my phone. Give me that phone. I don't want people to see me like this. It's embarrassing. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to smash that phone and Snapchat with it. Molly, that's my phone, and it's a brand new iPhone. I haven't even paid for it yet. Well, tell Baby Karen to stop Snapchatting everything because it's embarrassing. Yeah. I'll tell her. You go up and get in bed. Obviously, you're very sick. Okay. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Do you want to just get in here with me since we're both sick? Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. At least you didn't get the pink spots. Yeah, I guess that's one good thing. <laughs> No. 
know, not quite. Molly, do you feel better? I feel so much better. Yeah, I feel like all better. Thank goodness, that stomach bug was terrible. I know, right? Thank goodness it's over. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm actually like thinking like, wow, I would rather go to school than have that stomach bug. Ugh, I even slept in my clothes last night because I was too tired to even get in my pajamas. Is that baby Kira crying? Sure sounds like it, Miley. I wonder if mom's taking care of her. I'm gonna go chat. Baby Kira? Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, baby Kira, are you okay? I'm real good. Daddy, Gosh, um, let me see what is considered a fever that I should take you to the emergency room if you're a baby. Mm, um, all right, I better get my thermometer. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a fever you need to go to the hospital for. 102? Baby Kira, wake up. Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, she's not waking up. Molly, Daisy, someone call 911. What did mom just say? I think she said baby Kira's having trouble waking up. She's really sick, Daisy. I, I need to call 911. Call them really quick, Molly. Do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance in my house. My baby sister, she's not really responding and she's sick with the bug or something. I don't know. We'll send an ambulance out immediately. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she's in here. She's in here. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to do my best to take good care of your baby. Baby Kira, can you hear me? I told you I feel good. Oh, she's responding. Thank goodness, I was so worried. Excuse me, ma'am, you're going to have to leave. What time? Her mother, I'm not leaving. Well, you keep running into me, and I can't do my job if you're, well, in the way. I, 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 okay, fine. I'll wait outside the door, but take good care of my baby. Don't worry, I'm going to. Okay, baby Kira, I'm going to um, listen to your heart and I'm then I'm going to put you in the ambulance and we're going to go to the emergency room. But don't worry, when this is all over, you can have a delicious lollipop. Yeah, baby Kira, everything's going to be fine. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Nope, this is as fast as it goes. But don't worry, I'm going to get your baby there just as soon as possible. I'm just so worried. Yes, this one goes faster. Pull over and let me drive. Okay, fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot to hit the brake. You're a terrible driver for a paramedic. Hey, I just take care of people. I didn't say that I was a good driver. Well, I'm an awesome driver, and we're getting my baby there quicker because she's really sick. Hey, baby Kira, mommy's driving now. Everything's good. I'll feel good to get way to you. Everything's gonna be okay, sweetheart. I promise. No, we're good driving. You're a maniac. What? No, I'm not. I'm a good driver. I've never even gotten a ticket. Buddy, are you okay? No. This is all our fault. What? <gasps> Why is it our fault? Because we brought this flu home, and now baby Kira is so sick because she's a baby, and it's it's really my fault. Molly, the flu is just a bug. I mean, anybody can get the germs. We wash our hands, we do our best, but she still caught it. The stomach flu is very, very contagious. Oh, I just wish I had known I was coming to the hospital. I actually would have worn some shoes. Oh, I'm just so worried about baby Kira. Oh, my poor baby. I hope that you're okay. I really hope that you're okay. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Miley. And I'm so smiley because today is my first day at my new hospital. I'm so excited to take care of so many adorable kids as your favorite doctor, Dr. Smiley Miley. <laughs> oh, look, I'm gonna dress up as a little dog, cute. <laughs> All right, time to go see my first patient. Bye everybody. What patient do I have first? Let's go see. Oh. What's going on here? Can you tell me your daughter's symptoms? Yes, my other two daughters who are older have what seemed to be the stomach bug, and now my baby has whatever they have, I think. Oh, 
Well, we should run some tests and find out. Would you mind if I shared this on my TikTok? What? Yes? Oh, sorry, some of my patients actually let me um, just share their case on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I'm kind of a famous doctor here at the Children's Hospital. Have you heard of me? Smiley Miley. Wait, what? You're Smiley Miley? Oh my God, did you hear that, baby Carol? We're gonna be famous! But first of all, let's get your baby girl feeling so much better. Okay, sweetheart, I know you don't feel good, but I just need you to lay completely still while I do this x-ray of your chest and your tummy. I just wanna make sure that nothing else is going on, okay? Okay, the machine, I just take make sure it's in the right position. Okay, perfect. Beep, boop, boop. Oh no, the machine doesn't actually make that sound. I just do for fun. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Shouldn't it make that sound though? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's so quiet. It's weird. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Okay, we're done. Let's take a look at your x-ray. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely have a sad frowny face type of x-ray because you have an infection you definitely need some medicine come on sweetie let's go back and see your mom i'll have you feeling better in no time for that matter i think you can probably just spend the night for one night and then go straight home to rest in your own crib baby kira i was so worried is everything gonna be okay I took a x-ray of her chest and tummy, and it does look like she has um, an infection, so I'm gonna give her some medicine and keep her for observation overnight, okay? Okay, but she'll be okay? Yeah, she's a great and healthy little girl. She should be fine once this medicine gets in her system. Thank you, Dr. Smiley Miley, you're amazing. You're welcome. Here I am with my amazing little patient, baby Kira. Where are you, baby Kira? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> anyway, guys. Oh, she's kind of being shy. Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah, she's adorable. And guys, today I'm going to make baby Kira feel all better. So make sure you log in to all of my social media channels to see how I do it. Bye. So we just got home from the hospital, everybody. Uh, my sister, baby Kira, is feeling so much better. She's just coming into the house now and she got medicine, so she's she's feeling much better. And my sister and I are all feeling better. Everyone's healthy. That's right, girls. Oh, I've had the most worrisome week ever. But at least we get to go back to school. What? Back to school already? Yeah, Molly, everybody's healthy. You get to go back to school. Oh, oh wait, um, Brookie's calling me, guys. I gotta end this snap. Whoa, she tried calling me like five times. <gasps> Hello? Hey, Molly. Ugh, I am so sick. What? Oh, no, you caught it. Yeah, did it feel like your stomach was trying to crawl outside of your body? Yep. Did it feel like you had to run to the bathroom every five seconds? Yep. Did it feel like you were dying? Yes, it totally did. Oh no, Bookie, I'm so sorry. We won't see you at school. Oh, this is terrible. Sorry. Uh, if we give it to you, I'm really sorry, Brookie. Girls, um, you have to say goodbye right now. There's something important on the news. Okay, Mom. Um, I gotta go, Brookie. I'll call you later to check on you. Bye, Molly. Bye. Feel better. Next up, we talk about a woman goes missing for years. But first, Brooke, this is crazy. All of our town is shut down for a week. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, it's true. The entire town has got the stomach on. Oh my God. Do you think our toilets can handle that? Let me answer that. Probably not. School is closed for the rest of the week. Everybody, please stay home, stay inside. Just DoorDash so that no one has to see the anyone else and we can just stop the spread of this crazy stomach bug virus. Molly, we seriously infected the entire town. Ow! Um, oopsie! <laughs>
much. I'm just getting ready for another day of school. But I don't mind it so much today because we're having pizza for lunch. Pizza for lunch. Having pizza for lunch. Oh, Molly, are you seriously doing a pizza dance right now? Well, um, yes, I am doing a pizza dance. We're having pizza for lunch. <laughs> Brookie, <laughs> aren't you excited about pizza for lunch? I'm more excited about the school dance this weekend. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, the school dance. I kind of totally forgot about that. Forgot about the school dance? Really, it's the event of the season. Yeah, but I was more dreaming about pizza. Pizza. Molly, snap out of it. There's more important things in life but food. Okay, yeah, maybe some food. But there's nothing more important than pizza. <laughs> Um, yeah, Molly, what about your homework? Um, no. That is definitely not more important than pizza. Hey, look, there's Luke. Oh. Hi, Luke. Oh, hey, Brookie. Hi, Luke, I'm here too. Uh, hi, Brookie. No, I'm Molly, remember? Oh, yeah, sorry, Molly. <laughs> um, hi, Molly. Hi, uh, how are you doing today, Luke? I'm good. Hey, um, Molly, could I talk to Brookie for a minute? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm done talking about pizza, so, yeah, you can talk to her. Um, no, Molly, I mean, like, alone. Wait, what? We're all friends. I'm sure whatever you can say to Brookie, you can say in front of me. Did you have bean burritos for breakfast? Do you need to, um, you know, fart? What? No, Molly, no. But I do need to talk to Brookie, like, alone. Um, Molly, maybe you should go into class. We'll be there in a minute. But, 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 but... Molly, seriously. Okay, fine. Maybe they're planning for my birthday party. <coughs> That's probably definitely what they're gonna do. I'm just gonna hide behind this tree and spy on them and see what they're talking about. <laughs> Look, you can't even see me. I'm totally invisible. <gasps> so, um, Luke, what did you want to talk to me about? <laughs> Um, well, um, so, um, the, uh, 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 do you have anything to say besides us? Uh? <gasps> well, I, I was wondering how's your day going and, and stuff. Oh, <laughs> um, well, it just started because it's morning, but so far it's going pretty good. Except for the fact that I burned my bagel in the toaster oven. Ugh, that was so annoying. But then I just spread extra cream cheese on it with some strawberries and you can hardly taste that it was burned. I can totally make, you know, lemonade out of lemons. I like lemonade. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What do you mean you can take lemons and make them lemonade? Oh, I just mean when something bad happens, um, like you buy lemons instead of oranges at the grocery store, then you can basically, um, well, make lemonade. You know, see, even though it was a mistake. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I sort of get it. Anyway, I have a question to ask you and, well, um, uh, uh. It's like guacamole. What's a cat got his tongue? Yeah. Spit it out, Luke. Tell her what you're buying me for my birthday. Luke, it's okay. You can just ask me what you want to ask me. Do you need help with your math homework or something? No, um, although you are smarter than me in math class, uh, I was wondering, do you want to go to the school dance with me? Wait. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? He asked Brookie to the school dance? That can't be right. Luke, Luke likes me. I I don't understand. Uh -oh. oh, um, I thought you'd ask someone else to the school dance, like maybe Molly or something, since you guys are such good friends. No, Brookie, I'm asking you because I like you and I think we'd have fun at the school dance together. Oh, okay, well, um, he likes Brookie? Even when he was asked if he liked me, he picked Brookie. Well, Brookie's my BFF. She'd never say yes, right? You know what, Luke? Um, I'd love to go with you. Sure, yes. Great. <laughs> I'll pick you up about 7 o'clock. Sounds great. See you then, Luke. Bye. Oh my gosh. I just got a date to the school dance. <gasps> Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> um, did you have to go to the bathroom or something? Why aren't you in class? <sighs> wow, you're growling at me, Molly. Okay, that's a new thing. Do you want to go into class together? Molly, where are you going? <coughs> Molly! If he wants Brookie, then Brookie is what he'll get. 
Ugh, today was the worst day of my life. Ugh. Daisy. Oh, hey, Marley, what's up? Just working on some homework. Daisy, I have to ask you something. Uh, okay, what is it, Marley? Whoa, you look really grumpy. Daisy, will you give me a makeover? Wait, what? Did I just hear you wait, Marley? Could you say that again? I'm not sure I heard you. Daisy, will you give me a makeover? I have been waiting for this day for my entire life. Okay, okay, don't get too excited about it. Marley, we could not do the makeover heel. Really? Why not? Because I don't have the supplies I need, and this is going to take a lot of work. <sighs> Fine, where are we going? Bookhaven Salon, of course. And don't worry, Marley, you are going to be so amazing when I'm done. <laughs> I'm so excited! Ugh, again, I say, worst day of my life! Marley, turn that frown upside down. You're about to get a luxurious makeover. I don't know any girl in Bookhaven who wouldn't want that. Me, I wouldn't want that. Molly, at least try to smile. Ha, ha, how's this? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of work to do here. Oh, hey, Daisy. Back for a makeover so soon? No, remember I told you I had the sister who was a total well? <sighs> I don't. Um, okay, yeah. Why did you bring in this homeless person off the street? No, that's my sister, the one I was telling you about. She's decided she wants a makeover. Bring out the entire staff. We need the whole crew on this one. It's going to be epic. Oh, again. Worst day ever. Oh, don't say that. Once you have our makeover, you're never going to want to do any other makeover ever. You're right. I probably won't. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that water too cold, honey? No, I just really have to light a bean burrito. Uh -oh. What? Is the water too cold? No, I just really have to fart. And I didn't think it was polite in a salon where everybody's pretty and perfect and... Oh, no, dear. We all eat bean burritos. It's okay. Okay, great. <laughs> Molly! Sorry. She's got me in this crazy position and it was putting pressure on my stomach and... <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, at least she'll look good, even if she doesn't smell it. <laughs> okay, let's dry your hair. And what color were you thinking you wanted your hair to be? Um, I was thinking like brown. Can you do brown? Uh, yeah, sure. But your hair is blonde. Don't you want to do something with your hair color? Yeah, Molly, why don't you want to look like you? Actually, I was thinking that I could look exactly like Brookie. Uh -oh. Wait, what? You want, a Brook you want a Brookhaven salon makeover to look like your best friend? Why, Molly? Because I just do, okay? Now make me look like Brookie. Well, I'm not paying any tip. Whoa. We'll do whatever you want. Just give us a tip, okay? Molly, what are you thinking? You want to look like you, don't you? You're, you're beautiful in your own way. Especially with a makeover. No, I want to look like Brookie. <sighs> okay, Molly. Whatever you say. A few minutes later. Wow, you look <gasps> fabulous. Yes, but do I look like Brookie? Well, this is the exact hair color and haircut we give to her. But now we need to do something with your makeup. Well, give me Brookie's face, please. Well, your face is your face, but we can definitely give you something pretty similar. Perfect. A dog! I look just like her! Daddy, I don't know. Why don't you want to look at yourself again? Because I want to look like this. Now, what would Brookie wear? Something with a dog on it or an animal or something. <laughs> I look amazing. Uh, Molly, you look just like Brookie. That's kind of weird and creepy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Are you guys trying to do a twinsy thing at school tomorrow or whatever? I mean, this isn't what I had in mind for a makeover. Well, you got what you got, and this is what you got. Hello? Uh, hey, Molly, it's Brookie. Look, I was just wondering if we're okay. What do you mean you wonder if we're okay? I'm fine. Okay, well, um, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, and I have to have one of my wisdom teeth pulled out, so I'm not going to be at school. Uh-oh! Oh, perfect! Perfect that I'm having a tooth taken out? Molly? No, 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 I meant perfect that you get to see the dentist because they always give you a lollipop afterwards, so you won't be at school tomorrow at all. 
No, I I won't be at school until the dance um tomorrow night. Okay, well, good luck. Bye. Molly, what was that all about? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go home. Hey, what about that tip? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Okay, your total is $375. Holy guacamole! Looking like Brookie's expensive. <laughs> Brookie! Brookie, over here! <laughs> it worked perfectly. Oh! <clears throat> oh! Hi! Brookie, your voice sounds just a little different. I don't... I mean... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, never mind. I guess maybe you just have a little cold or something. So, um, still gonna pick you up tonight at 7? Yeah, absolutely. Um, pick me up at Molly's house. Yeah, because I'm gonna get ready there for the dance so I can look pretty for you and all that stuff. Okay, well, I'll see you then. I can't wait for the dance. M me either. <clears throat> me either. <clears throat> me either. Molly, are you going to the dance? Yeah, of course I am. It's going to be so much fun. But you're not going as yourself, Molly. You're going as Brookie. Are you guys seriously pulling a prank on us or something? Yes, yeah, something like that. Um, see you later. I've got to go. Perfect timing, Brookie. Get in. This dance is going to be so much fun. I know, right? I can't wait to go. <laughs> wow, that almost sounded like Molly when you were laughing. You guys must be spending so much time together that you even laugh alike now. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't wait to go to this dance with you, Luke. It's going to be so much fun. I couldn't agree more, Brookie. I really like you. Aww. Why doesn't he like me as Molly is the better question. Wait, what did you say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'm just so glad to be here with you. I like your cute little shirt. It's adorable. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, where's Luke? He totally stood me up. Was this some sort of joke that he wanted to go to the school dance with me? I'm all dressed up. He was supposed to meet me at 7 p.m. And it's after 9. Uh-oh. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to the dance by myself then. How rude. Come on, Luke. Don't you want to dance? Um, yeah. I think I will. Awesome. Are you afraid to dance? I mean, some boys are not very good at dancing, so they get nervous. What? No, I'm good at dancing. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Okay, I'll show you my dance moves. Don't get too jealous. <laughs> I don't plan on getting too jealous because I've got dance moves of my own. I can't believe Luke stood me up. Well, I'm still going to have fun at this dance. Wait, what? Is that my twin? Wait a minute. That looks just like me, but is that Molly? Uh-oh. Molly! Uh-oh. Are you at the school dance dressed like me? Wait, what? What's going on? Brookie? Brookie? There's two Brookies? Two Brookies? I don't see two Brookies. Where's two Brookies? Molly, knock it off. <laughs> I thought I asked one to the dance, and then this one's here, and I don't know which Brookie is which. I'm the real Brookie. That's Molly. No, it's not. Uh-oh. Molly, you just talked in your voice. Why would you do that? You just stole my boyfriend. Well, first of all, he's not your boyfriend, and if he's anybody's boyfriend, he's my boyfriend. What? He didn't agree to be your boyfriend, did you? Well, the, I'm not here for any girl fights. I'm out of here. What? You can't leave the dance. You invited me here. Um, nope. I'm out. See ya. <coughs> I wanted to get a pizza anyway. Can I jump out the window? Okay, no. I'll just go out this way. Look, you made my date leave. Your date? Looks like he was having a good time with me, actually. Molly, I can't believe you'd do this. Why would you? I can't believe my BFF would steal my boyfriend. <gasps> he wasn't your boyfriend, Molly. He was fair game, and he asked me to the dance. I... Don't want to be your best friend anymore. You knew I liked Luke, and you went to the dance with him anyway. I don't want to be your best friend either. I guess we're breaking up. <laughs> well, I guess we are! Who needs her anyway? It's not like we did everything together. It's not like we had all the sleepovers and pizza parties and birthdays and... Oh, no. What have I done?
rookie, are you super excited about missing school to be at the dentist? Um, not really, Dr. Payne. I don't really like the dentist that much. Why? You never have cavities. I know, I just don't really like it that much. I'd rather be at school with my friends. Mm-hmm, okay, well, the x-ray shows that you don't have any cavities or decay in your teeth, but your teeth are getting kind of crooked, so I'm going to have to get it. What? No! Ouch, I hit my head on the x-ray machine. Oh no, I don't want to have to send you to the room next door for a concussion. This won't hurt at all. Just relax. <sighs> but, but I don't want braces. I can't even eat popcorn or candy if I get braces. I know, but it's for your own good. Trust me. Good morning, Brookie. What are the chances that you'd have an eye doctor appointment and a dentist appointment on the same day? <laughs> well, let's take a look at your eyes and see if you're going to need any glasses. What? Glasses? I don't think so. I already got braces today. I don't need glasses, too. Jeez. Well, can you read those letters on the wall? Um, A... Four... No, they're letters, Brookie, not numbers. Um, Z... They look kind of blurry. Oh, that's it. You're gonna need glasses. Jeepers, I wonder where Brookie Cookie is. It's already third period. Remember what she said? She had to go to the dentist and the eye doctor today? Wow, her mom is harsh for making her go to two doctor's appointments on one day. Well, at least she got it over with, so she won't miss a lot of school or anything. <laughs> I would love to miss school, especially if I got to go eat ice cream all day. Ah, <sighs> ice cream. Molly, snap out of it before we're late for math class. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got braces and glasses on the same day. Oh, I hope no one teases me about it. Oh, I feel like such a dork. Oh, here goes nothing. Oh. Brookie, there you are. Oh my gosh, what happened? Were you late because you took a wrong turn down Ugly Street? Ow! What? Um, I don't think that's very really nice. Wait, what happened, Brookie? What do you mean what happened? Nothing happened, okay? I got braces and glasses. Oh, I totally got to Snapchat this. <laughs> what? No, no, don't put my face on Snapchat. I don't want you to put my face on Snapchat. Um, Brookie, the teacher's not here yet, uh, so you can just chill for a little bit. Take some deep breaths. I think you really need to. I don't need to take deep breaths. And, and, oh my god, why is my phone buzzing? Oh, please tell me that she didn't send it to me. Oh no! She actually did send a snap of my face! Oh no! Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be the worst life ever. Yeah, with that face, it sure will. Oh, I can't wait until... Logan gets here. <laughs> He's the cutest boy in school. <gasps> oh, yeah. Logan. <sighs> Brookie, don't forget to take out your homework. You don't want to get attention on top of getting braces and glasses in one day. Uh-oh. Yeah. Good point, Molly. Brookie, I can't believe that you got braces. I know. Don't remind me. I think they're adorable, and I like your glasses, too. You're just saying that because you're my best friend. Um, no, I'm saying it because I actually like them. I think you really do look adorable. Don't listen to Sarah. She's just rude. You could be the most perfect human being in the entire world, and she would still find something to be rude about. She's probably just jealous because you look adorable in those glasses. Oh, Molly, you're so sweet to me. Thank you. No problem. I only tell the truth, and... I mean, well, mostly. Except for that one time when I said a unicorn ate my homework, that was kind of a fit. <laughs> Molly, you're so funny. Thanks for making me laugh. I really needed that today. Aww. Oh my gosh, there's Logan. <gasps> I'll talk to him. Um, uh, uh, I got braces. <laughs> Why did I say that? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Brittany. Oh, yeah, no, my name is Brookie. People call me Brookie Cookie for fun. Oh, my God, Logan. I'm so sorry she's talking to you. Obviously, she's a total nerd or dork or, like, both. <gasps> uh, Sarah, rude! 
Um, I, uh, uh... He doesn't want to talk to you. He's popular. And I'm a cheerleader, so I'm popular too. And you're not. Well, um, yeah. It was nice talking to you, Brittany. It's Brookie! <laughs> <laughs> Brookie, wait! Where are you going? <laughs> well, that doesn't make much sense at all. It says no bullying on this sign, and my friend is crying under the no bullying sign. Uh, I think we need to work on that as a school. <laughs> Brookie, don't cry. It's going to be okay. I, I promise. Oh, look, you aren't crying. Good. Ah, oh, you're smiling. That makes me feel so much better. No, I'm not smiling. My face is just frozen this way because of these stupid braces. I'm really feeling sad on the inside. It just doesn't show it because this this brace thing like wired my mouth open. Whoa, harsh. Look, don't listen to Sarah. I I I really like Logan, and he's only gonna pay attention to Sarah because she's a cheerleader. Well, then, you don't really need Logan in your life, because if he can't see how amazing you are, because you are amazing, then who needs him? I, I really like him. I want him to ask me to the dance. He's so cool, and, and, and he always says funny jokes in class. I'm sorry, Molly, but I have to go. <coughs> Wait! I hope they can help me here. I don't want to be a nerd forever. Oh, hi, sweetheart. How can I help you today? I want to be different. Um, okay. Can you explain a little better, please? I don't want to be me anymore. I want to be like a cheerleader. Like beautiful like you with perfect hair and perfect outfit and, and not glasses and... Oh, well, I do have some colored contacts you might really like. Um, not much I can do about the braces, but I can make your hair really beautiful and give you a great outfit. I'll take it! I have to overlook the braces. I just really want Logan to pay attention to me at the school dance. Oh, this is for a boy? You should never change for a boy. Always be yourself. What's your name? Brookie? Oh, Brookie, I think you're amazing. You don't need to change for anybody. But if you want, I can try to be the best version of yourself. If you want me to. Yes! Except for don't make me anything by myself. Make me amazing and popular and like a cheerleader. Um, I think you missed the whole point of this conversation where I said you're pretty cool all on your own and you should be yourself. I don't want to be myself. I have lots of money. Give me the look I want. Okay, if you really say so. So, have you had braces and glasses for long? No, I just got them this morning and they're awful. Well, maybe you should give yourself a little time to get used to them, sweetie. I mean, it's not that bad, I promise. When I was your age, I had braces and glasses too. Well, I don't want to have them because I'm sure Logan won't think that I'm pretty this way. He'll think I'm a nerd, a dork. <gasps> and Logan really doesn't really need your time because you seem amazing. Yeah, that's what my best friend said, but she doesn't understand. I'm tired of Sarah teasing me. I'm just, I'm tired of it. Make me amazing looking. Okay, well, I'll do my best. Voila! What do you think? I think I look amazing. I could be a cheerleader even. Well, if you try out for the squad, probably. OMG, thank you so much. You're amazing. Oh, well, Brookie, so aren't you. Just the way you are. I never forget that, okay? Okay, thank you. <coughs> I'll show Sarah and everyone at school. I'm just as cool as the cheerleaders are. So, um, are you ever gonna ask me to dance? Uh, I'm the most popular girl in the school. You should, Logan. Um, I'm not really much of a dancer. Well, you are now. Get off your phone and dance with me. Or else, I'll make you unpopular. Wow, that sort of sounds really kind of like not nice, Sarah. No one said I was nice. I said I was popular. Duh. Now let's dance. Seriously, are you going to dance or not? I am dancing. I'm just sort of standing here while I do it. Uh, walk like a zombie. Walk like a zombie. Uh, well, at least you're popular and cute because your dance skills are, well, very bad. Hey, who's that? 
coming into the dance right now. <gasps> what? Probably a nobody. No, she's amazing. Gotta put this on Snapchat. I've never seen her before in our town and she's... Wow. How can you... You can't see anyone anyway because look at your hair. It's like down in your eyes where you can't see anything. And if you're looking at anyone, it should be me and my amazing dance moves. I just have to take a Snapchat of her. She's so amazing. <gasps> what? No one is more amazing than me. Oh, what an amazing dance. I'm so excited to be here as the better and improved part of myself. Who, who are you? <gasps> oh, I'm Brookie. We talked the other day. You kept calling me Brittany, though. Whoa, you look so different. I'm totally taking a snap of you right now because you're so beautiful. What? Me? Seriously? Yeah, and you're a cheerleader, so that means you're popular enough to actually hang out with me. Oh, so I wouldn't be popular enough to hang out with you if I wasn't a cheerleader? No, I only hang out with cheerleaders. Duh. What? It's not a costume party? Oh, wait, no, there's Bricky, and she's wearing a cheerleading costume. It's not a costume, Molly. I tried out today. I'm actually a cheerleader now. What? What? You're not a cheerleader. Well, I'm very athletic, so it was super easy to get on the squad. And what are you dressed as? Wednesday Adams? Oh! It was a costume dance. <laughs> and I thought you were wearing a costume too, but apparently now you've gone over to the dark side and you're a cheerleader? Um, I don't know why you guys are fighting, but I'm trying to hang out with Bro Brookie here. That is your name, right? Not Brittany. Yes, it's Brookie. And apparently he only hangs out with cheerleaders, so it's a good thing I am one. Um, yeah, you're totally gorgeous, too. Uh, Bricky, can I see you over here for a minute? Um, Molly, I'm a little busy hanging out with the boy of my dreams. Brookie, now, over here! <laughs> wow, bossy much, Molly? Look, he only likes you if you're a cheerleader. He doesn't like you for you. What kind of person is that? He needs to work on himself a lot. Um, looks like he works out a lot to me. No, I don't mean on his muscles. I mean on his personality, which is as rotten as a... as a... As a, I don't know, just, it's rotten. Rotten as a stinky fish. Rotten as a stinky fish. Yeah, one time when I was waitressing over the summer, someone had a fish sandwich and they didn't eat it all. And I forgot to throw it out. And well, a week later, it smelled really bad. Ew, Ew Molly. Yeah, I wasn't very good at that job. But anyway, that fish smelled so rotten. And the bread got all moldy too. And I think that's kind of how Logan's personality is. That's not very nice, Molly. Well, it's very true. He's he's kind of, well, like that rotten fish sandwich. Stinky and gross. And I think there was still an eyeball on the fish, too. Ew, gross, Molly. <laughs> yeah, that part I'm just kidding about. But anyway, Brookie, you're amazing just as you are. With glasses and braces and a bow in your hair and wearing your favorite dog sweatshirt. You don't have to be anybody but yourself. Aww. Wow. You might be right, Molly. Hey, Logan, we're both popular. Let's dance over here. Are you coming back or what? Yeah, these girls are totally lame. They don't even want to, like, hang out with me. They left me standing here by myself. Don't they know that I'm popular? <gasps> we do know you're popular. We just don't care. Yeah, we don't care. No, come on. Let's leave this dance and go get an ice cream. This Wednesday costume is also really itchy. I need to change into my pajamas. Sure, sleep over tonight? Sounds good. Mom, I don't feel good. I have to go potty. So do I, Mrs. Acker. I, I don't want to go to Twilight Daycare. Yeah, Mom, I'm thirsty and, I, and I'm hungry. Me too. I could really use a bottle right now. Girls, you're going to be just fine, I promise. There's a new teacher here at Twilight Daycare, and I heard she's very nice. She will take care of everything for you girls. Are you sure? I'm positive. Twilight Daycare has a five-star review. Now, I have to get to the office, okay, girls? I have an important meeting, but I know you're going to have a great day at Twilight Daycare today. I really hope so. I need to go potty. Well, Brookie, it's just you and me now. And this new teacher, I hope she's really nice. Me too, let's go in and check this out. What? This daycare is amazing. Looks like there's tons of fun toys here and things to do. I couldn't agree more, Molly. This place does look really fun. I feel kind of dirty though. I, I feel like 
I need a bath and 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 I might need a nap. Yeah, and I need my teeth brushed. Where's this teacher? I, I, I'm gonna need like tons of help. I'm just a baby. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at this cart. Oh, it's so cool. Frog cart. Yeah, I wanna ride that. <laughs> I totally wanna ride in this. But Molly, I thought you had to take care of yourself. You had to go to the bathroom and you also had to brush your teeth and get something to eat. Yeah, but frog cart, it's so cool. Yeah, but you're not even happy right now because you're hungry, Molly. It doesn't matter. Frog cart is all that's important. Molly, seriously, we need to find this new teacher and right away. Hey, look, that might be our new teacher over there. Yeah, but why does her name say Tiffany Angry? I don't know. I'm sure it's just a typo or something. Hi, guys. I'm Tiffany, and ah, I need medicine. Whoa, already throwing a bunch of needs at me. Well, yeah, we're babies. Of course, we can't even take care of ourselves. Are you the new teacher? Yeah, and also, I'm a Star Squad fan. Wait, what? You are? Yeah, totally. And I can take care of you guys like super amazing. Really? Um, okay, well, uh, um, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and we both need to go potty and we need baths and we're going to need naps and whoa, so many needs. Whoa, did she just abandon us? I don't know, Molly. Maybe we should follow her. I'm really hungry and I think that's the way towards the kitchen. Yeah, let's go see. Hey, lady. Come back here, um, just so you know, we're still hungry. I know, I just meant to say follow me because I was going into the kitchen and I'm gonna make you guys tons of snacks and stuff, okay? Okay, I don't know why they call you Tiffany Angry. You seem really nice to me. Yeah, she does seem pretty nice, but I don't know. Do you think she really is a Star Squad fan? Of course she is. Oh, please, someone get me something to eat. I'm starving. Well, let's start with you then since you're the loudest brat in the room. Whoa, Molly, did she just call you a brat? I think she did. Rude! But if she's gonna feed me food, I guess I'll just look past it. All right, just drink your bottle and be good. Ugh. These kids are gonna drive me crazy, I can tell already. That's not a very nice thing for a fan to say. This milk is too hot! Ow! You little brat, now I have to make you another bottle. Ugh, like we really want to waste milk and bottles around here? Sorry, it was just too hot. It was burning my tongue. Ow. See, now aren't you happy? Have I completed all the needs? No, you haven't completed all my needs. I, I, I still am hungry. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that Molly and Brookie were so annoying. Hey, don't say that about us. That's not nice at all. All right, fine. Here, eat this food. Mmm, yummy! Now I guess you're gonna need a diaper change. La la la, la la la, turn that frown upside down. I still can't decide whether Tiffany Angry is nice or a mean fan, but she is taking care of me, so I'm hanging out with her. Oh, I gotta select the toilet paper. My mom potty trained me like a month ago. Hooray! Okay, I better wash my hands, because if you don't wash your hands after you go potty, ew! All done, good baby. Now I'm just going to take you in for a nap because you're being a grumpy brat. But first, let's give you a bath. <laughs> Tickles! <laughs> splash, splash! Hey, brat, this is the only clothes I have. Don't get them all wet. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever, just try to be good, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll try. I mean, I'm Molly, so sometimes I am a little bratty. <laughs> I think you need some medicine. It's showing that you need medicine. No, I don't need medicine. I hate medicine. Well, it says you need some. Maybe you have a little bit of a fever or something. I don't want medicine. Well, I'm sorry, but you need to stop being such a brat. There's that word again. She keeps calling me a brat. Not really sure why, but I'm, okay, maybe I'm a little bit of a brat, but you know, if you were a nice fan, I'm not sure you would just keep pointing that out and, and calling me a brat. Okay, I just have to order the medicine and now I can pick it up. Tiffany, why does it say Tiffany angry? Are you really angry? We don't need to talk about that. Now take your medicine. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. I don't want to take anymore. Please don't, don't make me. Sorry, but you need to take your medicine. No, I'm not taking it. You little turd. What? She didn't call me a brat. She called me a turd. That is rude. Well, 
My name does say Tiffany Angry. Duh. Um, but I don't want to wear this sticky medicine when I take a, a nap. It, it's, it's, it's gonna make me cry. It'll be fine, cheapers. I'll just give you another bath. Holy macaroni, this kid. Hey, I say that too. I say macaroni and cheese, cheesy guacamole. Yeah, we're like so much alike. Not. Time for bed. Okay, wait, so wait, what's your favorite Star Squad video? Don't talk, I'm brushing your teeth. If you don't have a favorite, maybe you're not a fan. Ugh, why don't you close your mouth? Now you have toothpaste all over. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, please go in your bed and go to sleep. And also, if you get out of your bed, I'm taking you to timeout corner. Um, what if I have to go potty? Too bad. You're going to timeout corner. Hey, Brookie. Hey, hey, Brookie. Yeah, Molly, what is it? I, I have to go potty. Sorry, Molly, we can't get out of our cribs or we'll get a timeout. Yeah, but I really have to go. Oh, I'm gonna pee pee in my pants and I just got potty trained. Well, I guess we could try to sneak out. Yeah, I think we should. Let's do it. What if we get caught? But I'm also hungry. I need to go into the kitchen and get a snack. Wow, Molly, your stomach is constantly hungry. I know, I can't help it. Ugh, my stomach rules my world. Well, if we get caught, I guess we're going to go to timeout corner. Yeah, you're probably right, but I, I have to go. I think the coast is clear. Now might be the time to go. Do you see her anywhere? Um, yeah, Molly, right there. Get back in your bed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now's the time to go, Molly. Go. Oh, um, gee, should we just like run away? This lady seems kind of mean. Yeah, Molly, let's just head for the door. Do you see her? No, Molly, just go. Where do you think you two are going? Um, to the potty. We have to go. Yeah, that's it. I don't care if you have to go potty. Get back in those cribs. This is my break and I intend on taking it. But she really has to go to the bathroom. I don't care. Back to your beds now. Oh, M G, but, 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 no buts, just go. Fine, but I'm gonna need a diaper. <laughs> I can't believe this lady, Brookie. I don't think she's a Star Squad fan at all. I don't think so either, Molly. I think she might be a hater. She's an internet troll, and we made her a part of our family. Oh, no. I really have to go to the bathroom, and I'm hungry. Molly, we can do those things, but I think we really need to focus on escaping this place. Yeah, you're right. We definitely need to. <laughs> Molly, the coast is clear. Go. Going, going, going. But first I have to stop at the bathroom because seriously, if I don't, there's going to be a real problem. Uh -huh. Ugh, that is so much better. Holy macaroni and cheese, I had to go potty. Now I need to wash my hands. Molly, there's no time for that. We have to go. Ew. You have to wash your hands. Now I'm ready to run away. <laughs> oh, Molly, I hope we make it this time. I really do. Brookie, where are you going? To the exit, Molly. Are you confused? Yeah, I'm just a baby. I don't know where the exit is. Huh, huh. Okay, that's just another caregiver. Okay, I thought that was... Seriously, I thought that was Tiffany angry. No, Molly, we're good. We're, we're, we're free, I think. I can smell freedom in the air. Hey, excuse me. Where do you think you're two, you two are going? Um, we were just looking for the bathroom. Outside? I don't think so. You two were going to run away. And now you're going to sit in the timeout corner for the rest of the day. Maybe even the rest of the week. Maybe even the rest of your life. What? You cray cray lady. I, I don't think that you're a Star Squad fan at all. I think you're a hater in disguise. Okay, yeah, fine. I am a hater. A huge hater. And now... I'm in your family, so I get to say what happens. And what happens is, you two are staying in detention. Whoa, this is like a glimpse into my future of how many times I'm going to have detention. <laughs> Laugh it up, but you're going to spend a lot of time in this room, a lot of time. I don't want to have detention or time out or whatever. I'm a good kid. Well, I'm not, and this is making me angry. I'm going to have a temper tantrum. <laughs> Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Do you need a hug? No! I just, I, get back here, lady! Oh my gosh, start acting like adults. We can't act like adults. We're babies! Oh, I have a reason to hate you, 
because you're so annoying. What? No, we're not. We're very popular YouTubers, actually, and we're good at our job. Yeah, she doesn't care, Molly. She already left, and and we're stuck here in timeout forever. <laughs> I want to cry, too. This is so horrible. <laughs> Molly, just because we're in timeout doesn't mean we have to be stuck here. That's right. Let's try to escape one last time. Are you sure, Molly? We we, we, we already got put in timeout. Yeah, so what do we've got to lose? Come on. This will be the time that we'll get out of here. Oh, do you smell that, Brookie? Smell what, Molly? Oh, no. Do you have a dirty diaper? No, I'm not wearing a diaper. But no, that's not it. I smell our freedom. It smells better than chocolate chip cookies at this point. Ooh, Molly, now you're making me hungry. Come on, let's run before she catches us. <sighs> Molly, slow down. I can't run as fast as you. I'm sorry, Brookie, but we have to run as fast as we can. I don't even know where my house is. I'm too little and Twilight Daycare Game is too big. Where do I live here? I never even paid attention. Wait, what's that say? Go to home. I think that's what that says. Are you sure, Molly? Positive. I'm going to teleport there now. <laughs> Wait, wh what? Molly, it teleported us back to the Twilight Daycare Center. Well, 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 what do we have here? Two escapees back to timeout corner forever. <laughs> I don't think so, Tiffany. Angry, crazy, lunatic. Yeah, whatever your name is, you aren't going to keep us. Not ever. Think again. You're a part of my family and you can't ever escape. Yes, we will, hater. Come on, Brookie, let's go. Oh, Molly, it's creepy here. I mean, I've had a birthday party here at the park, but not at night. What was that sound? I don't know, but it sounded sort of scary. Yeah, it sounded really scary. Maybe we shouldn't be here. I don't know. I just want my mommy so bad. Yeah, me too, Brookie. Here, I'll give you a hug. It'll make you feel better. Oh, I'm so glad you're my BFF. Me too. Just let's hold hands. I want to tell you something. Okay. We are BFFs and we never give up and never surrender. Brookie, you and I, we can do anything. I'm glad you think so, Molly. Oh, I'm starting to feel kind of sick. Me too, Molly. Me too. Hey, what are you two little kids doing out after dark in the park? This isn't a place to, for kids to be. There's bears that roam around and eat trash out of the dumpsters here at night. What? That was a bear then? I think it was, Molly. That was creepy. Yeah, Brookie, it totally was. Where should you guys be right now? Were you at Twilight Daycare? Yeah, we were at Twilight Daycare. Well, I could take you back there. No! No, 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 no. We're not going back to Twilight Daycare. Not ever! Wait, what? Why? Hey, Molly, it says her name is Billy Nice, but I don't know if we can believe her. I don't know if we really have a choice. She's the only grown-up, and I don't want to get eaten by a bear! Good point, Molly, good point. <laughs> Hopefully her name really does mean that she is nice. I'm so tired. I just want to go home. So if you guys don't want to go back to Twilight Daycare, I could always take you home to see your moms. Yeah, that's perfect! Okay, well, in order to carry you there, I just need you to make me a part of your family. Oh, no! No, 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 no! We already got into trouble with that today. You are not going to be a part of our family. Okay, well, then I guess we could just call your moms on my cell phone. I really want to go home. I don't feel good. Yeah, we'll call our moms on your cell phone and tell them we're at the park. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, I'm sorry, but my cell phone is dead. Oh, well, I guess we're walking. Brookie, can you walk? Yeah, I think so. But do we trust her? We don't have a choice. There's bears out here. And I'm cold and hungry and I want to go home. Yeah, and I feel sick. So maybe she really is a true fan. Yes, I am a true fan. Well, we came across a hater today, an internet troll, and she did not take good care of us. And we trusted her and she was still, well, she called me a brat and a turd. Okay, I can take you there. Just follow me. Okay, we're ready. We have our sneakers on. Where did she go? I don't know. She abandoned us. She's a hater, too. Oh, I can't believe we trusted her. Well, at least we didn't make her a part of our family. Well, it's just you and me, Brookie. You and me. 
Oops, sorry about that. I accidentally pushed teleport. And I forgot you guys are babies, so you can't do that. Huh. Billy, we're so glad to see you. We, we, we thought you abandoned us. No, never. Now, come on. Let's go find your moms. La, 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 la. Be careful crossing this bridge, guys. It might be icy. Yeah, it's starting to get really cold. I wish I had my winter coat. And a hat and a scarf and mittens. Don't worry. I googled where you should be going home to and we'll be there shortly. We're home, Brookie, we're home! Oh my gosh, I've never been so happy in my entire life. Mom, I'm so happy to see you, Mom! Oh, Molly, I'm happy to see you too, sweetie. Are you okay? Yeah, one star review for Twilight Daycare. One star review! class you're just looking at a picture of a wet okay yeah but i was just checking my email and and i got a, i got a message from our teacher oh great you have detention again no 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 this is really exciting um <laughs> we're having pizza for lunch tomorrow no even more exciting than that <gasps> i don't know anything more exciting than pizza when it comes to you molly we are going on a school field trip Going to the water park. Going to the water park. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. Wait a minute. Molly, stop dancing. Molly! Sorry, I got a little too excited doing the chicken dance. And I had a taco for lunch. We can't go to the water park, Molly. What? Why not? Because that's going to cost a lot of money, and we don't have that kind of money. But, 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 it's the water park. Maybe it's free. Molly, you know the water park isn't free. And when it comes to school trips, we have to pay to go ourselves. Remember when we went to the Philadelphia Zoo? Oh, I remember it all right. I remember it perfectly. Stay away from me, Psycho Bunny! S -s stay back! Stay, stay back! No, oh, you're so cute and also very creepy! Ah, it's chasing me! Oh, bad memories! Bad memories! <laughs> Only you would get chased by a Psycho Bunny! <laughs> oh yeah, so funny. Anyway. This school trip is going to be so much cooler. Yeah, Molly. Except for the fact we don't have any money to go. Ow. Oh, you're right. The best day ever just turned into the worst day ever. I feel like I'm going to cry. I need to go call Brookie. She'll listen to me cry. Uh, Molly, maybe she's busy. She's never too busy to talk to her best friend. Not ever. Hey, Brookie, it's me. Can I call you? Hey, Molly, sure. You never want to call me on the phone. You just want to text. Is everything okay? I'm just going to call you. Hi, what's up, Molly? Are you okay? Not really. Did you get the email from our teacher? Yeah, I totally did. A, a school trip to, to the water park? That sounds amazing. <coughs> yeah, except for if you're me and Daisy. We don't have any money to go. I know. I don't really either. I only have like $5 saved. Really? That's more than I have. I don't know what to do. Look, Molly, you know I sort of have an entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> and, well, I was just thinking of a way that we could earn the money to go to the water park. All three of us. Seriously? You have an idea? Of course I do. I was thinking that we could start a lemonade stand. Hot dog, Brookie! Hot dogs? No, Molly. I don't think a hot dog stand will do as well in Brookhaven. I think lemonade is where it's at. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like hot dog. That's a good idea. You have all the most brilliant ideas. Well, unless it's about science, then Daisy's got you beat. Or if it's about, well, detention, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, uh, you want to help us build the lemonade stand? Of course I do. According to my calculations, if we charge 25 cents per cup of lemonade, it will probably take us about two days to earn enough for 
all three of us to go to the water park. Unless we're really lucky because I make the world's best lemonade. And if people know about my lemonade, they're going to come here for sure. There, the 25 cent sign is all up. And I nailed it down just so it doesn't blow over. Wow, this looks amazing, guys. I can't believe we built this. The sign looks so professional. You have the best ideas ever. Time to test some of the lemonade. Uh, Molly, I don't think so. Woo, it's really, really tart. We need more sugar. We need more sugar. Oh. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? Try to look professional. I'm even wearing a lemonade stand uniform. I can't even move. That was so sour. Needs more sugar. Man, all of this building our lemonade stand, it was hard work. I'm starving. Me too, Molly. What do you have to eat in your house? I don't know, but I'm thinking DoorDash. Molly, we're spending our money before it's even made. Hey, you gotta spend some to earn some. And me having an empty stomach doesn't make me very friendly to customers. Okay, Molly, you have a point. What should we order? How about a pizza? Because those aren't very expensive. And there's a lot of slices, so we can get a lot for a little. You're so smart, Molly. Thank you. One large pizza, extra cheese. Anybody want pepperoni? No, no pepperoni. No, no pepperoni, Molly. Just extra cheese. All right, it says it'll be here in two minutes. Wow, <gasps> fast delivery. One minute, 37 seconds later. here from DoorDash. This is like the hundredth order I've done today. Not a single person has given me a tip. Oh, cool. Um, well, I could give you a tip, except for I don't have any money. I'm sorry. That's why I started this lemonade stand. Again, I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it. Here's your order. Wait. What? Wait, get back here! These, this, this is not pizza! These are sauerkraut sandwiches! Ew, that smells like somebody's Ew. dirty foot. Yeah, and, and 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 I don't like smelling dirty feet sandwiches. Oh well, Molly, just just get a refund and try again. Fine. It's not like I was starving or anything. One large pizza with extra cheese. <sighs> Quit sending me sauerkraut sandwiches. Here she comes again. Uh, hopefully this time she didn't send us anything gross. Well, Molly, I would have eaten this sauerkraut sandwich. It's kind of good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, um, here's your order. Didn't you just order something? Yeah, and you brought us sauerkraut sandwiches. It was the wrong order. No wonder you're not getting any tips. Sorry, I'm doing my best. Here's your order. Have a nice day. Uh-huh, sure. It, this is KFC. Ooh, I love KFC. I know, but we ordered a pizza. My tummy was all hungry for one. Molly, remember in the freezer in the basement, Mom was saving that extra frozen pizza? We could always eat that. Yeah, good idea. Hmm, this frozen pizza is actually pretty good. Yeah, mine's still a little frozen in the middle, but I don't mind. Mmm, <laughs> it's like ice pizza. Very interesting. Well, now that we're done eating our pizza, I guess we're just going to have to wait for our first customer. They should be here any minute. Yep. Any minute now. Any minute. Any minute, they're going to just drive right down our street. Or walk, or ride their bike, or push their baby in a baby carriage. Yeah. And they're going to just have to pay us 25 cents for our lemonade. Where are all the customers? How are we ever going to go to our water park trip if, if, if nobody comes? Don't worry, they'll show up, Molly. I'm sure of it. Still not a single customer. Ugh, this is not going to work. We're not going to even get one customer. <laughs> Molly, you have to be patient. Oh, look. A customer's coming. I see them. They're, 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 they're way on their way. Look at that. There's a Bentley coming up. They're going to buy us like a hundred cups of lemonade. We're going to close and go on our trip. Oh, wait, no, that's Brookie's mom. Hey, girls, Brookie, it's time for you to go home. You have to do extra studying. 
<gasps> but, but mom, I, 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 I'm doing my lemonade stand. Come on, Brookie, we had an agreement. You need to work on more schoolwork. Oh, bummer. Well, see you later, Brookie. Bye, guys. It was cool hanging out with you. Bye, Brookie. Mom, I can't believe you made me come home early. Look, Brookie, you are not doing good in math class. You need to spend more time studying, or you might have to repeat the grade, or, or do summer school, or worse, both. But mom, it's not fair. It's so nice outside and my friends are running a lemonade stand and you're making me stay here and study. Well, your teacher said you got a terrible grade on your math test, so you need to go to your room and study. I've got some things to do around the house. <laughs> Fine, mom. Brookie, I know you don't want this, but I'm doing it for your own good because I care about you. Uh hi, -huh, sure, mom. Don't want to be doing extra math homework. This is so lame. I, I need to do something. Maybe the teacher will let me work for extra credit. Or maybe the teacher would just think I'm a nice person and give me a better grade. She loves chocolates and flowers. I could go to the store and buy her those. And I bet she'd change my grade. I just have to sneak out so that my mom doesn't see me. La, 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 la. Ugh, there's so many dishes here. How does a family that's so small make so many dishes? Ugh, I hate doing the dishes. Well, I'm a grown-up, so I guess I have to. Look, Molly, I think we finally have a customer. Uh, Daisy? That lady is riding a horse. Well, maybe her horse is thirsty. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, howdy there. I was wondering if I could have one of your lemonades for me and one for my horse. <laughs> Seriously? You want two lemonades? I sure do. It's pretty hot out here today. My horse gets really thirsty. You betcha. Two lemonades coming right up. Better make it three. Those are smaller glasses and my horse is so thirsty. Well, it's sort of an interesting customer, but it's a customer. Oh, wait, Molly, give her three lemonades. Um, this is our very best lemonade. It's super delicious. Here you go, horsey. <laughs> Molly, are you gonna freak out like you did when that psycho rabbit teased you? No, I love horses. They're amazing. Lemonade, get your delicious, freshly squeezed, extra sugarly lemonade. <gasps> Hi. Extra sugary lemonade, you say? Oh, I could use a boost. I'm trying to get some extra homework done tonight. Well, I've got the thing just for you then. 25 cents, please. Sure thing. Ooh, this looks delicious. Mm. Lemonade, get your fresh hot lemonade. Molly, lemonade's not hot. And if it is, add more ice cubes. Hey, what's up? Whoa, he's sort of cute. <laughs> uh, Daisy, um, thinks you're cute. Molly! <laughs> Oopsie, I don't think she wanted you to know that. Um, she's just kidding, by right, Molly? Uh, so can I have, like, a couple glasses of lemonade? I gotta go work out at the gym, and I'm really thirsty. Okay, sure, here you go. Whoa, thanks. And, uh, you're cute, too. Oh, me? Uh, no, the pigtails. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, thanks. Step back any time. Bye. Oh, boy. You are ridiculous, Daisy. <sighs> but at least we've made tons of money. I think we've actually made enough so that we can, uh, go on our water park field trip. Only thing is, is I drank some lemonade too and I have to go potty. So don't I really bad. Well, I'm sure the lemonade stand will be okay for a minute while we both go. I'll race ya. Bye, <coughs> Ay, ay, ay. Hurry, Molly. I gotta go really bad. I'll try to. <coughs> but no promises. <coughs> that frozen pizza was kind of cray cray. Molly, hurry up. I've gotta go too. All right, all right. I'm coming. Did you stink it up there, Stinky McStinko? Um. Uh oh. Ay, 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 Molly. <laughs> it's a bathroom. You're supposed to stink it up. Last one to the lemonade stands. A rotten, stinky egg. Oh, wait. You already are that. Oh, very funny. Hey, Daisy, where'd you put the money? What do you mean that I put the money? You probably took it up into the bathroom with you. Daisy, this isn't funny. There's like $50 missing from the 150 that's a whole portion of the money. Where is it? Honey, I'm serious. 
I don't have it. Well, you must have it because it's missing. I don't, Molly. I'm very responsible with money. You're the one that's not. Well, I didn't take the money. Oh, my God, Molly. Somebody stole some of our lemonade money. What? That, that, that means that, that the three of us best friends can't go to the water park field trip together. <gasps> oh, no. This is terrible. I know. How will we even tell Brookie this has happened? It's all our fault because we took a potty break and... No, Molly, it's not our fault. It's the thieves' fault. <laughs> oh, no. Mrs. Griffin looks like she's in a great mood today. Uh-oh. Not. Mm, what are you doing here early? Class for another 20 minutes. Um... Mrs. Griffin, I brought your favorite. Aww. White roses. What? Why'd you bring those? I also brought your favorite Hershey's milk chocolate bar. That's nice. Why? It's not my birthday. Well, I just know that you're my fa you're your favorite. Those are your favorite, I mean. Sorry. I'm a little tongue-tied. But also, I'm hoping that I could be one of your favorite students. And maybe you could change your mind about the bad grade you gave me on my math test because I can't go to the water park if you give me a bad grade. Sorry, Brookie, but no can do. You got the grade, you earned the grade, you keep the grade. What? But I brought you flowers and chocolate! And they'll smell delicious, both of them. Wait, what? Are you going to eat the flowers? I mean, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher or a language teacher or whatever. Okay, um, well, could I do extra credit for a better grade? Please, please, I'm begging you. Okay, meet me after school. I'll let you do the extra credit, and then we'll talk about a better grade. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin, thank you. I just can't believe it. This has been the worst day of my life. Well, Molly, it's just started. Maybe it'll get better. If it's anything like yesterday, I don't think so. Hey, guys. What? Molly, Daisy, what's wrong? <gasps> Someone stole some of our money from our lemonade stand. They are evil, they're a monster, they're a criminal, and as soon as I find out who it is, I'm sending them to jail forever. What? Molly, you're being ridiculous right now. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Oh, really? Is there ever a reasonable explanation for someone being a thief? I don't think so. And I'm going to pursue the law to a thousand degrees. Uh, Molly, I'm not really sure that's how you say that. I don't care. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay. Because now the three of us can't go to the water park together. Molly, I think you're being rude. I mean, I'm sure they had a good reason to take that money. What? I don't even know what you're talking about, but... But can't you see my tears in my eyes? You're supposed to be my best friend. Uh-oh. Okay, class. You can argue on your own time. Get in your seats, please. Are you ready for your extra credit? Um, yeah, but why are you holding a mop? Because, wait a minute, <laughs> did the janitor quit? Are you taking over his job part-time? No, you are. What? what? Why would you have me clean the school? Do you want to go on this water park trip and have your extra credit or not? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Count the classrooms as you go. It'll be very good, simple math for you to remember. Oh, hello. Are you selling Girl Scout cookies? Oh, why are you crying? Because um, I have a lemonade stand with my sister and my best friend across the street, and, and someone came and stole some of the money, and I was wondering, do you have a ring camera so I can review the footage and see who it was so I can turn them into the police? Absolutely. Um, let me just pull up my iPad. Okay, we can look at this together. Um, okay, here we go. Let's take a look. <gasps> what? Are you kidding me right now? It was Brookie who stole the money? Oh, M. She! Hey Molly, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. Did you come by the lemonade stand and steal the money? What? Well, I, I, okay, I helped build the lemonade stand, Molly, and, and we'll, we'll, 
You were supposed to split the money with me. But you still came by and didn't say anything and stole it. Well, I, I was going to, but you seemed so angry that... You know what? Th 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 that's it. We're not friends anymore. You're in deep trouble. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need the police. Stat. Uh, my lemonade stand has been robbed by my best friend, and I'd like to press charges. Uh-oh. Whoa, harsh. You guys aren't going to be BFFs after this. She deserves this. She stole money. Wow. The janitor has a really hard job. Are you Brookie? Cookie? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that's what my friends call me unofficially. You are under arrest. What? Is this about the lemonade stand money? Absolutely. A thief does the crime, a thief does the time. <gasps> but that was my money. I only took my portion of it. Sorry, but I have no choice. A thief is a thief is a thief. Every thief thinks the money is theirs, and it's not. I can't believe my best friend would do this to me. I, I, I'm never going to be your best friend ever again, Molly. Not ever. Uh-huh. That's what they all say. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Yes, but I don't want to be. My best friend is so mean. Blah, 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 Molly. Well, that's all you could come up with as a comeback? Well, I... Yes! I'm too mad. My brain is... I don't know. I've been mopping all afternoon. It's probably the fumes from the Mr. Clean. I understand. Sometimes I have to clean, clean the prince pre-stink bathroom after everybody stinks. Ew. Ew, gross. I don't want to be a cop if that's a part of my job. Oh, I can't believe this. All I did was want to go on the field trip. Oh, oh now I lost my best friend and I'm in prison. Worst ending ever. <laughs> Here we have the Arctic Fox. When the Arctic Fox is hungry... Oh my gosh, not this show about the Arctic Fox again. I've seen this like five times. Why do they keep playing all these reruns? Molly, you could work on your homework. Christmas vacation is coming soon. And don't you want to get ahead like me? No. Boring. Ooh, someone texted me. It's Brookie. She wants to know if I want to come to the park and play some soccer. Well, Molly, since you aren't going to do your homework, I guess you should go do that since you're so bored. Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Whoa, Molly, you almost ran into me. And be careful, I just got this plant. And isn't it so pretty? Yeah, sure, whatever, Mom, it's a plant. Anyway, um, Brookie just texted me, and she wants to know if I can come to the park and play soccer for a little bit. Molly, it's really snowy out. It's probably really slippery at the park. Yeah, but Mom, I'll be careful. Come on! Uh, okay, but be back by dark, all right? Sure thing, Mom. Thanks so much. Ricky, I'll be there in 15 to 20 minutes. Send. Whoa, these roads are so snowy. This is going to take me forever to get there. It's okay. I know a shortcut. Whoa, there's Brookie down there. I guess this was a good way to come. Except for this mountain is really snowy. I hope that I'm going to be okay, but, but, but I want to see my friend and I don't want to be late. Well... Here goes nothing. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Oh. <gasps> I wonder what's taking Molly so long. Oh, well, I guess I'll practice my drills until she gets here. This is so unlike Molly. I'm going to text her and make sure everything's okay. Hmm. No text back. All right, I'm going to try calling her. Hey, you've reached Molly. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. Molly, where are you? I'm starting to get worried. You said you were going to meet me here, and it's not like you to not come and not to text me and not answer my texts. Are you mad at me or something? What's going on? Call me. I guess I'll just sit here and wait for her. <sighs> Something's not right. I'm going to go see if I can find Molly. It's not like her to not call me or text me. Something really weird's going on. I can just feel it in my heart. Molly? <gasps> Molly! Molly, what, what happened? Molly! Say something! Anything! Molly, wake up! Huh? 
what? What, what? What's going on? Molly, oh my god, you're conscious. Thank goodness. What, what happened to me? I don't know, but your bike is over there, so I'm thinking maybe... Did you take a shortcut down the mountain and, and fall? I don't know. Who are you? What? What do you mean, who am I? I'm your best friend, Brookie. I've never seen you before in my entire life. I don't know a Brookie. Oh my god. You must have a giant bonk on your head. I'm, call nine, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, uh, my friend, I think she fell and hit her head. She's on, what street is this? On the corner of Jackson and, and Cedar Ave and, and Brookhaven, and she doesn't even know who I am. I think she might have amnesia. Amnesia? Yeah, that's it. We'll send an ambulance right away. Thank you. Molly, just stay with me. Stay with me. What? Who are you calling Molly? I don't know who Molly is. You're Molly! We pulled up to the patient. Oh my god, they're here, Molly. Just hang on. Why do you keep calling me Molly? Oh, that's your name. My name is not Molly. Well, then what is your name? Well, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? I am telling you. It's Molly. No, it's not. I don't know why they're taking me to the hospital. I feel fine. La, 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 la. How long has she been like this? Um, I'd say, um, 20 minutes since I found her. Are her eyes always that crazy? No! She's usually just a little crazy, but now she's a lot crazy. Can you fix her, doctor? I can try. I can try. La, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Molly? What are you calling Molly? <laughs> you farted. What? No, I didn't. She doesn't even remember farting. Okay, dear, we're going to see what that bonk on your head is all about. Bonk on my head? I don't have a bonk on my head. I think you very much do. Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo. Here, I'll make the noise for you if you want. I don't really need you to make the noise. I just need you to get into the x-ray machine. Oh, does she have a broken back? Holy guacamole! No, 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 I'm just really flexible. <laughs> I can bend over backwards, forwards... I can um, basically put my feet behind my head and also turn my head all the way around like an owl. No, you cannot. No human being can do that. You definitely need to have a shot to help you with your back injury. And it looks like you most definitely have a concussion. You have amnesia. What? No, I feel fine. Ow! No, I don't. Ow. No, I don't. Ow! Let me out of here. You locked me in here, you crazy lunatic. Okay, you should not be walking around. You have a head and back injury. You need to get into bed. Fine. This guy thinks he knows everything about me. I know everything about me. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure I do. Why can't I remember my own name? Or where I am? Or what happened to me? Just come lay down in your, in your hospital bed. Everything will be okay, Molly. I promise. Wait a minute, why am I here? Am I gonna have a baby? What? No. Do I have to go poo-poo? No. Am I a baby? Molly, stop asking such silly questions. Who's Molly? Ah, oh, you're Molly. I'll be back in a moment. I'm just going to give her a shot so that it relaxes her. And her back will feel better afterwards. Okay, doctor. Tell it to me straight. Is my friend going to be okay? Some people who have amnesia never remember who they are. What? So I've lost my best friend forever? That's right. You may. But... Some people remember when they do their things that they love and their everyday routine. It just will start making connections in their brain for them. You could try by having Molly do some of the things that she loves. Thank you, doctor. Her mom and dad should be here very, very soon. They were both at work. I suggest that she gets at least a week of rest at home with no one bothering her except for to eat and sleep. You've got it, doctor. I hope Molly's gonna be okay. Me too. Me too. Molly, it's been a week and all you're doing is sitting around in your pajamas. Yeah, Molly, don't you think it'd be good to get outside and get some fresh air? Who's Molly? You're Molly. Come on, here's some lunch. You want some lunch? Um, can you please move? You're in the way and I'm watching this show about Arctic foxes. Molly, you've seen this three other times. You hate this show. What? No, I haven't seen it three other times. I love this show. 
Molly, he talks about when the Arctic fox get hungry and they go and look for food. I don't care. I like this show. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Molly's still sitting on the couch at day eight. Yeah, she's just like a slug. Well, I'm watching this show on Arctic foxes that I've never seen before. Molly, you've seen this like three other times. You hate this show. Come on outside. Let's go do something fun. I don't even know what I think is fun, okay? Molly, go outside and get fresh air. I don't have to listen to you. You're not my mom. Really? Because I have your birth certificate that says I am. <gasps> um, okay. Well, you may be my mom. Get dressed, Molly, and go outside. Come on, Molly. I have a bunch of stuff we could do. It'll be fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. All right, let's go. Uh, Molly, did you forget to put your clothes on? What? Oh, um, no, this is my bathing suit. Molly, it's the middle of winter. What? No, it's summer! Molly, it's winter! Oh, my God. This amnesia thing is going to just kill me. Yeehaw! How about this? Um, Molly, you would never wear that, ever. <laughs> I'm trying out different personas to see who Molly actually is. How about this? Go, team! Go, team! Go! Um, Molly, definitely not. You are not a cheerleader. Not even close. Is this good enough for you guys? That's perfectly mine. Come on, Molly. Let's go outside. We could, um, play in the snow. Fine. I'll come with you. Do you want to make snow angels? That sounds kind of cold. No, you love making snow angels. Come on, Molly. You have to remember who you are. I miss you as my best friend. Let's make snow angels. Is this how you make snow angels? Um, well, sort of, Molly. I mean, you're supposed to move your arms up and down, and I guess that'll be a good enough angel. <laughs> so do you remember who you are now? No. Come on, Molly. You love riding bikes. I thought I got in an accident on a bike. Why would I love it? Because you do like riding bikes, Molly. Do you remember who you are now? Um, let me think about it. No. Molly, pass it to me. Okay, Molly, that was sort of a pass to me. <laughs> Do you remember anything about soccer or your real life? Um, let me think about this. No! <sighs> Everybody wants me to remember who I am. Of course we do, Molly. We like you as Molly, the old Molly. Well, what if I'm not the old Molly ever again? I can't help it. This is the new Molly. Uh-oh. Well, the new Molly is super grumpy. Okay, well, I'm just going to go home now, Molly. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Fine. Bye. It's all my fault that Molly got hurt because I invited her <laughs> to play soccer on a snowy day. <laughs> Ricky, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be okay, Mom. Sorry. It's okay, honey. And by the way, I'm here to talk if you need me, and it's not your fault what happened to Molly. <laughs> I know. I just feel sort of responsible. <sighs> I'm going to try one more time tomorrow morning to get Molly to remember who she is. I don't know why Brookie wants me to meet her here. <sighs> I don't even know if I like this place. The food is probably terrible. Hey, Molly. Hey, what's wrong with you? Brookie, right? That's your name? Yeah, that's my name. I'm just sad, Molly. I feel like it's my fault that you got hurt. What? No, I'm sure it's not your fault. Everybody tells me that I was kind of a daredevil and an ignoramus in my last life. Molly, it's still the same life. You're just not remembering it. Well, let's just order and see if we can eat something delicious, even if I am the new Molly. Well, hi, sugar. Hey, Cheryl. Wait, Molly, did you just call her Cheryl? Yeah, this is Cheryl. <gasps> Molly, you remembered her name. Why wouldn't she remember my name, sugar? Because Molly has an amnesia and she hasn't been able to remember anything. Yes! Molly, this is good news! If you can remember one thing, it remembers you can remember lots of things. Well, so far, that's all I remember. She likes the cheeseburger with french fries. She wants a Coca-Cola and she'll have a cupcake for dessert. Chocolate with peanut butter frosting. Right, Molly? How am I supposed to know? Coming right up, sugars. I'll get right on that. Wow! This Brooks Diner cheeseburger is delicious. Hmm. Oh. Bro Brookie? <gasps> yes, Molly? I... I remember! I remember everything! Wait, what? 
You do? Totally. Molly, I'm so happy. I missed you being, well, you. I'm glad to be back. Man, I can't believe I went down that giant mountain in the snow. Probably a terrible idea. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> queen right now. Molly, that's Blaco. You know what, what happened to you. It's been abandoned ever since the accident. You should check it out, Molly. Come on, be brave. Did you buy Infinite Lives? <laughs> you know me too well. Of course I did, Daisy. You have to buy Infinite Lives if you want to survive and you're also me. Alright, Daisy, it looks like we have to cross this river. But don't worry, guys. If I die, I did spend 400 Robux on Infinite Lives because well, you guys know. Sometimes I get nervous and then I die. A lot. Ooh. It's okay, Molly. We all know it. We still love you, though. We made it! Yay! I didn't even have to use one of my infinite lives. <laughs> We're, okay, Daisy, look at this. Crafty corn. It's a daddy corn! so cute! Hey, guys. Um, You guys have to become critters before you enter. What? Okay, guys. This is going to be worth it. Because I definitely want to be... I thought this place had been abandoned. It has been. I'm the only one ever here. It's my most prized possession. Okay, um, I just got Crafty Morph. How do I turn into Crafty Morph, though? I'm not really sure how. Do we just step out of now? Oh! oh my god, guys, look at me. I am adorable. Oh. Me with this creepy smiley face. Oh, Daisy picked... Kicking ah! chicken. <laughs> Daisy. Well, you took the unicorn, which I love, so I picked the next best thing. A chicken. <laughs> Great. Now we can enter. Okay, cool. Any game that I can be a unicorn at? Perfect for me. Whoa, Daisy. <gasps> Huggy Wuggy was a blue fuzzy fuzzy. Molly, you should tell your fans that if they haven't checked out the um, Poppy Playtime songs on our So Geeky channel, they're amazing. Yeah. Guys, go to So Geeky and you can listen to all those songs. Wait a minute. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know, but my stomach tells me to go to the cafeteria. Of course it does, Molly. Anyway, I was trying to tell you guys we have amazing Poppy Playtime songs on our channel So Geeky and you should check them out. OMG, Play Cafe, that looks awesome. I'm getting pretty hungry. What about you, Molly? <laughs> Did you even have to ask? Yeah, I'm starving. Duh. Da -da 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 -da. Um, let's head to the cafeteria. Duh, game. We're already in the cafeteria. Duh. I'm too busy, like, jumping around, though, because this is, like, so much fun. I've prepared some food for you, Molly. OMG, you did? Well, you're a great sister. Let's, let's see what it is. Okay, go to the cafeteria. We're there. Where's this phone? Daisy, are you pranking me right now? I'm going to share this on Snapchat. What? There's no Snapchat in you. No, in real life. Daisy, prank me in Roblox! Find a seat, and I'll hand out some food. If there was food to hand out, I'd hand it out. Okay, I'm finding a seat. I don't want to sit next to you, Daisy. You smell. You. What's Molly? <laughs> Just kidding. I'll sit next to you. Now you can hand out the food, Daisy. Good. I made pizza. <laughs> Not really. The game did. But, you know, here you go. Here's your pizza. Oh, yum. I love pizza. Why is it stuck on my arm? Oh, I didn't even get to eat it. My, It just, like, burned my arm with hot pepperoni grease. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit of a glitch in the game. Totally. Look at our arms. I can't eat pizza like this. 
That's just rude! Objective, eat the pizza. Oh, my arm ate it. Uh, guys, I don't feel so good. Well, don't say that you're poisoned because your arm can't even move to your mouth. So how did you eat it? And also, no worries. We have a medical center. We need to go get the medicine instead. Okay, um, how do we get there? OMG! Alright, I guess that's the medicine. Let's go get it, Molly! I think I know the way! Okay, don't die on the way, Daisy. I mean, y your your armpit did get burned by the pepperoni grease, so be very careful. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be okay as long as I can put medicine in my armpit. And you can get some deodorant for yours. Oh, very funny, Daisy. There's the medicine. Are you all better? Thanks so much, everybody. I feel better. Daisy, who's everybody? It's just us. Okay, yeah, it's just us. Let's head to bed. Bed? We're sleeping here? Uh. Ay, ay, ay. How do I even play games with this girl? Daisy, let's stick together. Which one are you getting into? No, the purple one, Daisy. The purple one. Look how I'm sleeping, guys. My arm is, like, straight up in the air. All right, everybody who's watching this video, I want you to stick your arm straight up in the air like this. Could you sleep like that? No, I don't think so. Daisy did it in real life. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you said to. And it's your channel, Molly. OMG. Ow! Why am I getting thrown around on my bed? Ugh. Seriously, this is how I wake up every morning. Uh, upside down. Falling out of my bed. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. Oh, my God. Daisy, I'm literally stuck in the bunk bed. Ah, game glitch. Okay, I think I got out. Good. Um, we should probably run. There's a creepy cat in here. Oh, it's just chasing Daisy. Good luck, Daisy. Molly, it's eating me. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I'm a bit of you. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm locked in here? Are you serious? Yeah, Molly, guess what? We think you have infinite lives because this thing is really creepy. Um, Daisy, I'm still after you. Holy guacamole, look at that crazy cat. Ah! Ah, no, no, please don't get me. Oh, wow. Molly, get up here. He can't get you. I can't climb. I'm too chubby. Oh, God, no, he can get up there. Lies. Sorry, I didn't think he could. Okay, he's chasing us, like, too quickly. You look like a stuffed unicorn. He just wants to, like... Tail your arms off like a stuffed animal. Holy guacamole, this cat is evil. Huggy Wuggy, please help me! Oh, he listened to me. He listened! Molly, it looked like catnap, but evil. I'm not so sure if I like this place anymore. Even if I get to be a cute little fuzzy unicorn. We need to find a way out, Daisy, and fast! I agree, Molly. This doesn't seem like a very safe place to be. Uh, but as soon as we said that, all of the entrances and exits are closed. Okay, that's just great. I think we're trapped! <laughs> yeah, I think we definitely are. Um, uh-oh. Wait, look! What? Is it another piece of pizza? I get dibs on it. No, Molly, look, it's like an abbey for us to escape from. Oh, no. Good thing I bought the infinite lives! <sighs> bum, bum, bum! Nah, it looks like this way is blocked off, too. Never mind. Wait, look. There is a vent. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Molly, I love your sound effects. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> never give up and never surrender, because you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, boop, 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 you can do it. Even you, Molly, even you. Aww. Thanks, Daisy. I think that was a vote of confidence, but I'm not really sure. Well, 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 yeah! We made it just in time. Nice, let's go through the vent. Whoa. Why is my health down to 87%? Did that cat scratch me? Oh no, I've got cat scratch fever. Oh yeah, yeah, can you believe her sometimes? She's an annoying sister sometimes. Yes, but I beat you out of here. An office? Whose office is this? Look, there's a button on the table. Pressing it. Molly, it might make the whole place explode. Whee! This is so much fun. Molly, let's see what it does. Press the button on the table. Boink. Ay, 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 Molly. 
Oh wait, it opened a door, never mind. I guess you being totally crazy kind of actually worked out for us. The door opened! Now what? Be careful! And let's try to find a way to get out of here. <gasps> Attention all guests, please make your way to the toy factory. Uh, we were trying to think about going to the exit actually. Marty, I think we should do what he says. He's got some crazy critters in here. All right, let's go see what they want. Well, we're here. What do they want now? I think Huggy Wuggy is just like gonna come to life and kill us all. No, oh, Marty, that's not this chapter. So what do they want? I don't know. Uh, welcome to the toy factory. I think we're about to find out. We're going to be creating a toy. What? <gasps> awesome! Can we eat pizza too? Because I want to have a pizza party and a sleepover. Let's get started. I have a few questions. What is the name of the company? Playtime Co. Oh, the Huggy Wuggy. I got it right. In which year was Huggy Wuggy created? Uh, uh, uh. 75, Molly. Uh, no, Daisy, 1984. Ugh, I never listen to Daisy. But I'm usually so smart. What is the experiment number of Huggy Wuggy? I'm like guacamole, this is really hard. Oh, one one seven zero. What color tile is not present in the main hall? Ah, uh, uh, green. Yay! That's because I'm more of your <laughs> Do I get to live or do I have to use one of these infinite lives? When was Poppy Playtime Chapter One released? <gasps> these questions are ridiculous. All right, July. Wrong. When was Poppy Playtime Chapter Two released? Uh, 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 uh. I'm getting all of these wrong, guys. Obviously, I have to study more before I play Roblox. I have to study for school, now I have to study for Roblox? Who's the best smiling critter? Crappy Coin! Absolutely. Oh, they wanted to submit catnap. Of course they did. Too bad, evil catnap. I'm not picking you. Thanks for playing my little game. <laughs> yeah, I failed it, as per usual. Wait, where'd he go? I thought we were making a toy. Yeah, what happened to the lights? No. Seems like the power turned off. This isn't really like what I had in mind for hanging out here. This is really creepy. Um, okay, something is going on at the train station. I don't know what. Oh, there's the electrical. Okay, try to the electrical. Haha, <laughs> like that means anything to me. I'm terrible with maps. Looks like we can turn the power on from the electrical room. Well, which way, Daisy? Let's go turn the power back on, Molly. I thought it said we were going through the train station, but I guess we have to go this way. Oh, it's kind of giving us really confusing arrows. Okay. I think if we go into the entrance hall. Looks like we just need to turn everything back on. Gee, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Look, I think, yeah, it was kind of obvious. Restore the power. No problemo. Press the button. Marley, what's that alarm sound? Oopsie! Oh, Marley, I think it's okay. It turned back on. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, they freaked us out with that alarm sound, though. What was that all about? Marley, look, the exit! All right, let's try to get out of here now. This has been really creepy. Let's go! <coughs> never give up and never surrender and don't run into the wall. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Don't tell anybody, that was kind of embarrassing. Let's go for it. Hopefully Huggy Wuggy doesn't come to life. Or Catnap isn't there. Wait Something crazy's gonna happen. Here's the exit. Uh, Daisy, where did the Huggy Wuggy statue go? I knew it! Huggy, uh oh. It's catnap! Defeat evil catnap. Okay, I've got a baseball bat. I'm not afraid to use it. Crazy cat. Whoa, Daisy is taking that cat down! Um, but there's more minion cats where that one came from. Good thing it's alive, huh? 
Huh, Booker? Huh? Did you just call him Booker? Yeah, that's all I could think of. All right, is he gonna send out any more minions or we did, did we do it? Oh no, Marty. I just have this crazy sword that takes the cat down real fast. Ha ha ha! Well, 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 oh, pfft. <laughs> He's weak! Attack him! Wow, catnap, that wasn't even like... I feel sort of bad. Oh god, he totally hit Daisy. Daisy, are you okay? Not really, Molly. And now he's sending up spikes. Um, Daisy, the thing I want to tell you is maybe you should have bought infinite lives. Oh, no, there's more cat minions. I'm never gonna give up and never surrender. Good luck defeating me. We did it! We did it! Can we leave now? This was crazy. It looks like the exit door leads to nothing. Ah, oh, this game! It's keeping us here forever. Let's check out the train station and see if we can exit from there. <laughs> Look at Catnap. He's like, la, 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 la. I've gone crazy. La, 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 la. The train station. Okay, we can finally get out of here. And also, this uh, unicorn suit is starting to get a little hot and itchy. Buddy, look at the tracks. It's Catnap. <gasps> what? Um, that's not good. Uh, should we rescue him? No, you're evil. <laughs> I'm not. I'll let you guys go. I promise. Aww. You just tried to hurt us. Oh, I'm sorry. Please let me go. Uh, let me think about this. No. I agree, Molly. That's a big fat no ski. Don't forget. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, catnap. Yeah, sorry, catnap. I don't and can't trust you. I was going to help you. Uh-huh, sure you were. Liar! But now you guys can stay here with me. Um, uh, no. Forever! <laughs> Ugh, that was creepy. <gasps> oh, I just got the bad ending. The bad ending. Well, uh, have you guys played this game? What ending did you get? Did you get the bad or the good or the insane or the crazy or the... Oh my god, ending. Marty, there might only be two. I don't know. I have to play again and see how many endings I can get. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. We just love hearing from you guys. You're the best fans in the world. So leave us a comment, okay? See you next time.